Welcome back to the Underground Treehouse Podcast. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Welcome back to the Underground Treehouse Podcast. And if it's your first time listening, thank you for joining us. We are a podcast that discusses and reviews music of all genres. I am one fourth year host, Ruben. Uh, Joining me as always is Keenan. What's up? Oh. I could have swore you were going to say my name first, bro. Hi. Oh, I'll keep you guys on your toes. Isaac. What up? (laughs) And Marcos. What's up? And this week, we're going to be doing another topic discussion voted by you, our precious listeners. Thank you guys for the interaction. We really appreciate it. Uh, This week, our topic is going to be our top video game soundtracks and movie soundtracks. Um, We're going to do both. We're going to do, well, both as far as movies. We're going to do OSTs as well as soundtracks, you know. There's a distinction, but... And scores. Yeah, and and scores. uh, Pretty much what we're trying to say is... We're doing licensed music and then music that was also made for the movie as well. But as always, before we get into that, we will give you our beer recommendation of the week as well as our music recommendations of the week. Isaac, go ahead and start us off with the music recommendations. Okay. Hello, everybody. So this week, I've been absolutely fucking addicted to this artist named Banshee. She is essentially a mix between like fucking black metal mayhem and like 100 Gex hyper pop. It's the the sickest shit I've (laughs) ever fucking heard. If you like hyper pop or black metal, you might fuck with her. Um, The song that I've been totally obsessed with is fairy metal. Shout out my homegirl, Danny. She, she put me on and I've been obsessed since. Um, Yeah. There's really not much to say because the music speaks for itself. Just listen to that track. Let us know what you think. And fairy metal is the name of the song. Fairy Metal that, is the name of the song. That, that sounds like a perfect description of just the fucking mashup of the genres anyways. Essentially. Essentially. Like, even the video is, like, so perfect. Like, it's her, like, walking all foreboding, like, on a beach, like, singing her ass off. And then when it gets to, like, the hyper pops, it gets all, like, you know, like, shimmering and, like, the water splashing. And it's, like, it's just, <laughs> it's a great juxtaposition. So, give it a shot. All right. So, apparently, this album was recorded in the early 90s but it's actually just being released oh Damn. it was just it was just released on september 2nd oh i know this by the slow core band coding <sighs> the yeah, godfather dude really? slow core so so apparently um after coding's first album um i'm not sure when it came out but apparently the band like jumped back into the studio recorded this whole second album what, what should have been their second album but I think something happened with one of the members and one of the members like dropped down. So because of that, they're like, let's just chalk the album. Right. But they've always had the recordings and they just never released it. And this this musical group, um, it's called a numero group. They actually unearthed all the recordings and pressed it and they just released it. So for the first time in almost 30 years now, this album is finally seeing the Dude, light of day. So Whoa. sick. The it hasn't the, even aged. Right. And the name of the album is called Desau. Or Desu by Coding. Check it out. My recommendation is Freddie Dread. Have you guys heard of him before? Yes. Cha Cha. Sad Boy, baby. No, I Ooh. haven't. Yeah, man. Oh, no. I fucking love Sad Boy music, but I think he's uh, next to uh, uh, Suicide Boys and, you know, kind of like Ramirez, I guess. Um, he's pretty fucking sick. Uh, what the Al? WT, uh, WTH is a really good song by him, but his whole discography is pretty uh, sad. So if you like, like uh, Suicide Boys, Sad Boy music, check that motherfucker out. Shit goes hard. Bro, Ramirez was just announced like a I couple know, days ago. Yeah, for here. For I'm here. down to go because I missed oh. his last concert. Yeah. yeah. I missed the last one too. Yeah, we should go to him, to be honest. I missed the last one too, guys. Oh, my God. It would. You don't even oh my like God. going to concerts. I wish you like going one. to concerts <laughs> to fucking with Jess and fucking Isaac and not your boys. You don't like going to concerts with us. Damn. Sadio. I'm going to call no. you out on the podcast. Bro. I like to go to Denver. I like to go to concerts. <laughs> I like to, I like to go to Denver. <laughs> Bro, Ruben. I like road trips. <laughs> remember when like we invited trips. this dude to Scowl and Zulu? Oh, and he, he was like, "Bro, go. hit me up, hit me up, and hit he me didn't up." Go. And now they're like his favorite That's bands. Oh, yeah, I do God. remember that. Oh. That's and fucked. Man. Y'all know what kind of what situation I was, bro. Oh, I was in a situation at that point, bro. Trust me, it was not worth it. I wish I could have just sent him the Addy. 
We're like, dog, we'll buy your ticket. In the war zone. You're literally like five minutes away from that. I know, dude. It's Chingo, so bro. Sad. I don't want to hear that. That was a year no ago, more. bro. I want to go to Denver. I like road trips, like Isaac <laughs> said. I like fucking <laughs> Port Grinds. <laughs> Port Grinds. <laughs> Port Grinds. <laughs> Grinds. <laughs> Grinds. <laughs> Is that what Bro. they're called? <laughs> yeah, pork rinds. Rinds? rinds? Yeah, no G. No G? Yeah. <laughs> no G, my G. <laughs> <laughs> he said pork rinds. Ew. This man is just about that hustle. He's always grinding. <laughs> I'm a Bro, G. he's wearing a Gears of War shirt. He yeah. is always grinding. <laughs> no. I'm a G, silent like lasagna or whatever Lil Wayne said. <laughs> I'm so G. Freddy like Dread, dog. Yeah. That shit's Hell silent yeah. as hell. Ooh. Yeah, bologna's nasty, though. That shit will leave uh, shit on your car if you put it on your car. Oh, yeah, it'll tear the paint. Yeah. No way. It will, yeah. yeah. And then you put that in your body. <laughs> <laughs> People will be drinking Coke. It does the same thing. That You can clean fucking motor oil out of your driveway with it. What? And you yes, sir. put it in your body. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, We're no just wonder, built different, though. No wonder it tastes Word. so good. <laughs> same with Fabuloso. <laughs> no, no, no! Yeah, don't do that. that. <laughs> I like the grape flavor. Yeah, <laughs> same. Tastes just like Powerade, dog. <laughs> Mystic all mountain buzz. blueberry. Hell yeah! Catch a sick buzz. Watch the sandias. <laughs> Those trees be moving differently, dog. Those trees be moving differently when you oh, It's Fabuloso. like the gorillas in the mist, bro. <laughs> bro whatever, bro. Freddie Dread, check his ass out. <laughs> Yo, that will go fire. Hell yeah. My recommendation of the week is going to be the newest mixtape, Green Zone 108 from Green Tea Peng. Uh, we, we actually reviewed her, uh, like, in the beginning of the podcast. We did it offline. We reviewed her album last year, Man Made, and I feel like everybody kind of dug it. Um, but I love Green Tea. Green Tea is one of my favorite artists. So she just dropped this mixtape two days ago uh, since the recording of this podcast. Um, great. I mean, if you know Green Tea, you know, it's basically just kind of your run-of-the-mill smooth smooth green tea type shit if you don't know her imagine a mix between like erica badu and amy winehouse essentially also it's like reggae but like not like not it's not reggae but it it has like that like roots of people who have struggled exactly if that exactly makes sense. like it's it, like it, a, it, it comes from a, a a place of yearning and caring 100 percent. it's definitely more of like a hip-hop eyes reggae if that even makes sense no it I, does. I don't know if there's a subgenre for that and it has a specific name but yeah. j- just imagine that fusion like damian marley yeah like damian marley yeah something like remember when he had his uh uh joint album with nas yes sir yeah dude that's essentially green tea pain walk to like, zion or whatever yeah dude uh so yeah great mixtape i recommend the whole thing uh my favorite tracks off it would be my love and lose my mind uh but the whole thing is worth checking out all right Local beer recommendation of the week is going to be the Pumpkin Noir Spiced Ale by Marble. I mean, you know we got to get on our white girl shit. It's already September. We got to get this shit started early. So we picked, in my opinion, the best pumpkin beer made locally. To me, I get a lot of chai out of it. It it tastes like an alcoholic chai tea, essentially, you know? It's great. It's smooth. It has that real nice spice to it, that real nice kick. It's going to get you ready for the uh, spooky season. Oh, let's say less. Uh, Right here off the can. Our Lady of Darkness always chooses the burnt slice of pumpkin pie. Heads have been known to roll around here until we achieve the perfect balance of carbonized fruit, delicate spice, and velvet viscosity. Bro, you know they listen to Banshee, bro. That's some fairy <laughs> metal shit right there. Oh, see, no. I was going to say you know they listen to Judas Priest. Oh, they have the song, Some Heads Are Gonna Roll. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Again? yeah we're definitely pre-gaming these to McCall's. Oh, 100%. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right before the uh, Haunted Barn House and the Haunted Corn Maze. Hell yeah. <laughs> hot take, the Corn Maze is way better. No, no. That's not a hot take. That's that's facts. I would say that is facts. That's just facts. Okay. That's facts. It's, kind of facts. It, it's just facts. That's but just facts. All right, again, from the good people at Marble, we've shouted them out a couple times. They, they're, they're definitely worth your while. Thank you guys for the uh, beautiful pumpkin spice beer. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Cheers. All right. Let's get into this topic, baby. Let's go. Video Woo. game soundtracks and movie soundtracks. So as far as format... Uh, we should do movie soundtracks first, video game soundtracks. Before that, we'll do honorable mentions. And then if anybody else has anything after, we can wrap it up. Let's do it. And then we'll read our faithful Instagram comments yes, right after please. that. Also, yes, if you want to be a part of the episodes, again, just hit us up on the Instagram. On the gram. On the gram. What's, at, what's the gram? At the Underground Treehouse Pod that's where we get all of our interaction from you know any questions that are posted any answers we want you guys to answer or any questions we got we want you guys to answer it's going to be through instagram so 
that's yeah. that's definitely our main hub for for all interactions and all uh, and updates. feedback and feedback. Okay, so let's go. Before we get into honorable mentions, <laughs> I'm, I already fucking know. Do we all have Interstellar? I have Interstellar. Yep, I, I have, have Interstellar. interstellar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, have interstellar. <laughs> okay. It's. I mean, we we brought it up in our last topic. We brought. <laughs> I don't. Oh, it's because it was your uh, recommendation for our um, guilty pleasures topic. Okay. Was the inner or no? Uh, it was Django, but then we ended up going into oh, Interstellar. That's right. If you guys have listened to episode three, if you, I mean, if you haven't, you should. But <laughs> you know, we've already shouted it out. I mean, nothing needs to be said about it. Hans Zimmer is a fucking legend. Uh, Interstellar is a legendary movie on its own. The soundtrack is amazing. I really can't add anything else to it. We all have it. Yeah, literally name a movie and Hans has done it. Facts. Literally name a movie. Yeah. And he's, yeah. He he's he has to be like a consensus top five like composer so no discussion needed no introduction interstellar get on if you don't it's amazing and if you can find it on vinyl please send me the link oh. yeah <laughs> and we have a video on our instagram of bitches twerking to the interstellar <laughs> theme song we do. context 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay so honorable mentions um i'll go ahead and start it i have two one from each category from video game and from movie this is the reason why it's my um Honorable mention is because it's not a movie; it's a TV show. Okay, I you know I get it. We send movies, TV you could, show. You could fudge uh, it if you want to talk about it in long. We could time. we could fudge it, but no, uh, it'll be an honorable mention for me because I still think the three that I chose for my movies top it. But Twin Peaks, Twin Peaks soundtrack is Easy. absolutely amazing. Easy it's, mid. Oh, oh, you oh, haven't oh, even oh, seen I, Twin I Peaks. Have, I have not. I have not. <laughs> I'm triggered. I'm just talking shit. <laughs> I'm just talking shit. It's like it, it is the best. If you've ever seen Twin Peaks, I mean, if you're familiar with David Lynch. You know David Lynch's style. Very surreal, very horror-esque. Uh, the soundtrack is the perfect you know, accompanying theme to that. It's very ambient. It's very ominous, very creepy. And the main theme is just a beautiful theme in, in itself. So, Have you seen Twin Peaks, Isaac? No, sir. Have you, Ken? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, I don't know anything. Let's get I want on to it. watch it. it. Twin Peaks is very interesting. It's like a, it's like a weird mix of like... X Files, right? And like, yeah, no, no, well, sort no, of. No, 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 it, no sorry. It, but it's, it's like, like very. X-Files meet, or sorry, sorry. Well, it's like so. Take the surrealness of X Files, turn that up to a thousand, but then take like the campy, like rom com, like TV shows, turn that up to a thousand, and then mix them. What? It's 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 a weird mix of like horror, cheesy, and slice of life. Yeah, exactly. Really, when you say it's Twin weird. Peaks, I that literally is. think about like no. Hog aliens. Girls. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I will say the 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 women of Twin Peaks are the finest, the Couple finest of cast of just because any of the TV restaurant show. Twin Peaks. Yeah. No dog. You freaking pig. Sorry. <laughs> My apologies. Sorry, Toto. <laughs> so yeah, Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks has an amazing soundtrack. Uh, honorable mention, and my video game honorable mention is going to be Shadow of the Colossus. Um, it's uh, so sick. Yeah, Shadow of the Colossus is really dope. It's not on my top three just because I don't revisit it as much, but it's still really good. Um, it's a it's a PS2 masterclass, bro. It's a masterpiece. Oh, sorry, the game. Yeah, two masterpiece. The game itself is perfect. The soundtrack is perfect. It's it's very similar uh, to like Dark Souls in the sense that like each each boss has like its own theme, and um, they're very like drawn out, elaborate battle sequences. This one is a little bit more of like a platformer as opposed to like a free roam type of game. Um, but yeah, Shadow of the Colossus, I don't have too much to say about it. Um, my favorite track off the OST is The Opened Way, but yeah, Shadow of the Colossus is a great one. Anybody else have honorable mentions before we get into it? I got a fuck ton. <laughs> List them off. Let's We're see. Gonna, well, well I'll, I'll do a semi rapid fire. Uh, this one's just off the top of the dome because we were talking about shows. And I know Marcos is going to appreciate this one. The motherfucking whistle from Ed, Ed, and Eddie, bro. <laughs> Let's go! Bro. I was literally trying to fucking recreate it, yeah. bro. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, with fucking right. oh, with, with yeah, with crunch, bro. That's like Ed. Yeah, literally, that's some Ed shit right there. Uh, and the soundtrack of that show is just insane. It's it's like a Looney Tunes show mixed with like like non sequiturs, nonstop. It's it, you have like the the like classical music like going along with you know all the actions but then you have like just crazy not you, you know like ed would like like 
get flipped on his head and then you'll just hear like a cow like mooing or something <laughs> or like a double d will get his hat ripped off and you'll hear like a chicken like Caw-caw! like all crazy <laughs> like the sound design is so good in that show but that was off the top of the head this is all these are all my honorable mentions well, first one scott pilgrim fucking amazing Ooh. amazing Great soundtrack one. Uh, really indie, just, I mean, the fucking songs that they made for it, bro, like, so fucking, truck, 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 like, yeah, oh, dude. it's so good, it's so good. Super bad, love the funk, love dude. the 70s nostalgia, Super bad has a great fucking soundtrack. Pulp Fiction literally put 100%. me on Dick Dale, I fucking love Dick Dale, that fucking, like, 60s surfer music is so catchy, mm-hmm. all the other songs in that movie just fit so perfectly in the movie. Um, Raw is a French film, and I love that shit. Raw is sick. All the fucking songs on that, like, just are so catchy. The French ones are just so intoxicating. Love it. Uh, Dark Souls 3 for the first video game. Love, love Dark Souls 3. Ratchet and Clink 3, Up Your Arsenal, another great one. Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2, the main menu music. Are you kidding me? (laughs) So much nostalgia. Fucking, fucking youngin, youngin, youngin. <laughs> Everyone knows there's that fucking uh, pre lobby of Marvel for Two, dog. Marvel for Two is nice. I don't remember the the main <laughs> intro. Dude, music. That's why I'm saying youngin, <laughs> young bro. Black Ops came out the young next year, the year after. <laughs> Literally, what are you talking about? <laughs> that's different. I'm older than you. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't know, dog. You don't hey, know. Okay, you're right. You're right. Oh, about fucking uh, scrapyard or uh-huh. fucking rush. Hey, I know Ooh, scrapyard and rush. terminal. Half bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Meet me on that shit with the intervention and stopping power. It's a wrap. With uh, oh, okay, he FMJ, knows, he knows, he knows, you're he knows. dumb, bro. With that no scope, three sixty off the cliff, off Afghan. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> GG's, the, bro. Through the plane. Through the plane. Through the plane. plane. Through the plane. plane yeah, through the wall, what, What's dog, the you're one where you where there's like a big helicopter on that shit and you're like on a is that high rise it's high rise high rise oh, yeah fuck damn you, you do know all right my bad I Bro, take that back. you can spawn snipe them across literally sp- you can spawn trap i will them. spawn yeah. trap you you get like oh quadruple head i'll literally <laughs> go off the fucking skyscraper and just 360 no scope you fucking double y tap <laughs> double, double y, y tap, tap. <laughs> <laughs> fucking xbox player oh fucking. ew <laughs> okay uh right. black ops wanted to eight mile just because eight mile had so many like yeah. classic hip-hop songs in it you know opening that movie with uh mob deep Shook ones is iconic. You, I'm telling iconic. you. Iconic. Done. Such a good done, soundtrack. Done. Baby Driver. Same thing. Oh, oh, yeah. super That's bad. such a good, good take right there. Baby, Baby Driver. Driver. It wasn't the best movie for the A-listing actors I had, but the soundtrack carried it. The soundtrack, soundtrack carried it, bro. Yeah, that's a good... Yeah, I feel you. Um, Two more. Lord of the Rings. Oof. One of the most iconic uh, main themes of any... It's up there with... Star Wars and Harry Potter, bro. Like, Howard Shore killed that shit. Mm-hmm. Lord of the Rings is one of the best ever. The the song when they're fighting the Nazgul in the first movie and fucking Aragorn's ass is like, run, or whatever he says, bro. <laughs> and they're all fucking him up, bro. Like, iconic. Great as fuck. Like, it, with the sword all, ching, 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 like, oh, man. He, he, he fucked those ring rights up. All Thanks. right. And then last one, of course, No Country for Old Men. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. I haven't seen that movie in a while. Oh, so no props, no props. Oh, wow, you guys are doing that's props. I no, I'm just I, kidding. You know, it's a good movie, but I, 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 I can't lie. I don't, I'm not super familiar with the soundtrack or anything yeah. like that. So, I'm going to be completely honest. That was a complete, that was a joke. Oh. <laughs> wow. That movie that felt flat. doesn't have womp, a soundtrack. Womp. It's there's actually no music in that movie. It's all uh, wind noises. Damn. So it's a good thing none of us were like, yeah. yo, that shit's <laughs> gas, <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> I should have been like that. Well, that shit was dummy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll get into it. It's my turn. It's a great, okay. it's a great movie. Right. No actual music, though. I was just, it was just a silly joke. But okay. yeah, those are my uh, honorable mentions. What do you guys Damn, have? You have me. some heavy heaters me. in that. Me, I'm, yeah. I'm me. interested to what's your top three. You me. have some me. honorable oh, and mentions. Also, me, all, me, me. All of me. these me. opinions are our own, and we're not saying these are the best. We are saying these are our favorite. So if we miss one of your movies or one of your video games, please let us know on the Instagram. What's the Instagram handle one more time? Underground Trios Pod. Marcos? Marcos? Um, so fucking for uh, movies or TV shows, I'm going to bundle up just some of my favorite animes. 
because Ooh. those fucking soundtracks are gym playlist fucking essentials, bro. My hero fucking soundtracks done. The first done. season Dude. intro Dude. song, bro. Even when Shigaraki's uh villain arc, bro, the fucking My Villain Academia, phew, the soundtrack to that, <laughs> oh. I tried to look up these uh, playlists, but they're just all in Japanese, and it kind of sucks because uh, I can't tell you the exact song. But, like, My Hero Academia, um, Attack on Titan, The Rumbling. I know the song to that one. The Rumbling, have you guys heard that one? Oh, yeah. It's a good one. <laughs> Attack Don't. on Titan is nasty. Yeah, that Rumbling, I think, hit uh, Billboard's top 10. American Billboard's. American Billboard's. What? Jesus. What? American Billboard's, too. What? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Um, Naruto, of course. Come on. Like, the, the, the soundtrack with Pain comes on bro come on you have to like or even when a guy hits the the eighth gate like oh, come yeah. on like the soundtrack to that is like disgusting so um tokyo revenge revengers the soundtrack to that it's one good, punch but... man yeah i mean listen to those uh soundtracks like whenever you can it's 100 so okay i i didn't even consider animes me so, neither. I, so I, if we're, I fucked yeah. up so bad because I would have picked like so many animes. Yeah, because we were going off movies. Yeah, but I totally spaced it. But that great, great yeah. recommendations. I have to shout out Samurai Shampoo. It, it, is, oh, yeah. it, is, oh! it is my oh, favorite. Uh, Afro Samurai then too. Like, Afro, Afro Samurai, 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 Samurai Shampoo. Yeah. Yeah. Rizza who, killed that. Who does, who does Samurai Shampoo? Sorry. So uh, I have this man tatted on me. Exactly. Ooh. Let Nujibis. him know. Let him know, Ruben. Nujibis. It was actually done by three different producers, three or four. But Nujibis was one of the main ones. He does the main theme. And he does like a lot of the more prominent songs on it. But Nujibis killed that shit. Force of Nature killed that shit. Fat John killed that shit. I got one on wax. I need the other. Japanese Amazon fucked me out of my other one <laughs> and i'm so pissed but i will come up on it someday so yeah so i i only bring that up because you brought up animes uh i guess a movie would be tron uh Ooh, the newest one tron, tron legacy nice would be an honorable mention man daft punk Daf- literally Dude, Daf- that's Daf- the reason punk why daft punk kills it man spoiler alert, we have two comments from our instagram followers two of two of them recommended tron legacy really so yeah nice. so that's one of them, my honorable was one of them isaac no, it wasn't good. No, so Tron, <laughs> Tron Legacy would be one of my movie honorable mentions. The, the, that soundtrack goes dummy hard. Another movie would be The Warriors. Ooh, Old school. Warriors. Damn. That's a good one. That is a good one. That's a good one. Uh, nice. That soundtrack fucking kills it. Even even in the GTA or not GTA, the Rockstar game on the Xbox, that soundtrack was pretty good. <laughs> this has to be like close to my heart, even though I don't play it that much. I used to play it a lot when I was like a senior year in high school, like a uh, uh, junior, is Minecraft. The Minecraft soundtrack Minecraft is a great is one. Dumb I can't believe I didn't hard. see that. <laughs> dumb is a hard. Great dumb one. fucking hard. Literally play that shit in the background. You'll be zoning, bro. It's like a hallucinogen. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, bro. That soundtrack is so good. It's going to be forever a classic. Like I can't wait for like 50 years from now to just go back and listen to Minecraft. Just the way I go back and listen to Majora's Mask or like... Definitely. You no, know, shit like that. Like old school ass games. Yeah. This is off the rip. I have no notes for this. It's hard. Yeah. Because I don't have like any for video games. All mine are just movies. Oh, yeah, all okay. Mine. So, all right, let's mine hear are it. All movies. So, right off the bat, it's a movie called Rock and Roll High School. It's oh, a movie no. about the Ramones. Oh. And so, the Ramones are literally the entire, the entire, pretty much the entire soundtrack. Okay. And so, once I discovered the Ramones, I realized they were in a movie. It's game over. Yeah. That soundtrack is. Still on repeat almost all day, every day. <laughs> nice. And then next up, I got the score, not the soundtrack, the score to Love, Simon. It's <laughs> no se. No se. Mm-mm. I know the movie. Haven't seen it, but I, I know. I know. I, I've seen it. With, it's like with the little heart on the thing. Yeah. Is it yeah. I Love You, Sam? No. It's called Love, Simon. Oh. It's just the score because it's just like all electronic. Mm, but nice. it's like uh, it's like indie electronic and um, just very mellow. Pretty nice. And then, of course... Nick and Nora. I knew it. Nick and Nora's good. I knew it. And then I got a parrot with Perks of Being a Wallflower. Uh, Perks of Being a Wallflower was a good one too. God Dude, damn. I was in my, like the biggest indie phase of my life during when those movies came out. And then I actually got one that's in my top three that I could probably pair it with this, but I'll wait. No, next up I got Drive. Oh, oh Drive is a good Ryan. one. Easy. With Ryan Gosling? Yeah. yeah. Okay. M95? Daddy. Oh, Daddy. I haven't seen that one. Oh my God. Oh, you haven't? Dude. Daddy? Daddy? <laughs> And then I got um go TV show real quick. I got Stranger Things. Easy. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Stranger I have things. a TV show that has a really good playlist. Easy. Fuck. Easy. Who, who does that? that? They do Omniverse, huh? What's what's the... It's called Survival. Survival. Is it Survival or Survive? Or Survive. 
survive. One of them. Yeah, they, one they of have them. a song called Omniverse or something mm-hmm. like that. It's so good. Yeah. After that, I got the heavy metal soundtrack. <gasps> Yes, bro. The, the yes. Video, heavy the, metal, the nineteen eighty nine, yep. the animated movie, yep. the 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 Loch Nar, yep. or whatever the fuck. Dude, yep. I fucking I fuck with you. Parodied on South Park with major you know boobage that, where they changed the entire an, animation style just to make that, bring, the that brings me that brings up another uh, another honorable mention. Sorry, but really quick, really quick. Metalocalypse. Metal, 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 oh, metal, 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 yeah. They essentially made a whole band around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. That's okay, yeah. I just want Thunder type. Horse. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just want to exactly. throw that in there. I just want to throw that in there. Okay, yeah. Okay, metal, okay, no, okay, that, yeah. that's a good, that's that a good, is a good one. one. Yeah. Um, next up, I got Detroit Rock City. Another movie about I've heard Kiss. any of these fucking movies. <laughs> what? Yeah. I've heard of Detroit Rock City. You ain't a rocker, fool. That's why. I guess so. No, radar movies. My mom didn't let me watch them. Oh, he's catching up. Word. And then I got break in one and two electric boogaloo and that's all i got break in what do you mean that's damn, all you that's... got that was amazing yeah, i know i, I only it. i only brought one for each holy Dude. shit damn man okay holy shit we we got a we got a heavy hitter list for honorable mentions god damn i'm excited <laughs> to hear everybody's the top three all right starting with the movies let's do it Whew. starting with the movies are uh, we starting from three or are we starting in one uh, I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, what, whatever order, up. whatever order you want to do it in. I'm gonna work my way up. Okay. So you can, so well, let, oh, so you, you want you want to rank them from bottom to top? Yeah. So I'm gonna start with my third, and then second, back to one, and then let's first. Let's just all do that. Oh, let's do that then. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're right. You're right. All right. Okay. Getting into the top three. Getting into let's, our personal oh, top threes. I'm excited. My third one is yeah. gonna be the soundtrack to Gummo by Harmony Korine. Please tell me, this isn't one of the hardest lineups you've ever heard. Okay. As far as the soundtrack, okay. I Hate God, Bethlehem, Burzum, Oof. Bathory, Oof. Mortician, Oof. Dude, Sleep. Oof. It is like, if you've never seen Gummo, it is literally like the one of the most bleakest, depressing movies you've ever seen. So basically, the, the film is based around a tornado that goes through and just ravages a small town in Oklahoma. And this is like you don't see anything about the about the tornado, right? You see little snippets, but the movie is about like the aftermath of it and like the effect that it has on the community. So it's it's just a movie just about fucking you know poorness in the community and just it, it's it's essentially just a random mix of shit. Like, are there are there kids in it? Yes, there's kids. So, and so yeah, okay, I think I have seen it. I think you 100 percent have. Like it, it's definitely like if if you're a fan of like cult films. Like you had to like whether you've read about it on a list or whether you've seen it like mentioned, you 100 percent have seen something about Gummo. Uh, The two main characters, the two main kids, they fucking kill cats and they sell it to the butcher for meat. Like it's just you have this film that is just so like it's just so grotesque in its in its depiction of like human filth. But then you have this fucking evil ass soundtrack <laughs> accompanying it like it, it couldn't have been a more perfect soundtrack for this movie um like one of the more iconic scenes at least for me is like so again like the t- the two kids they kill cats for meat uh. so they have like competition right so there's another kid who kills cats for meat so he has like this weird like situation where his grandma is dying so the two main characters, the kids, they break into the house to go check on the granny and they kill her. But as they're breaking, what? yeah, so she's on life support and they just unplugged life support. It isn't anything like super grotesque or anything. But as they're breaking in, if I'm not mistaken, it's Bathory that's playing while they're breaking into the house. What? So it's fucking sick. For context, all of these bands that he's naming are like super, super heavy, super, super just. The, yeah, it's dude. really, really heavy metal, and I don't like, mean it's heavy metal. I mean it's super slow heavy. doom metal, doom, exactly. black, doom black. It's sludge, like it's very, very in- in- intense. Yeah, and to have it in a essentially a slice of life, but mm-hmm. the life isn't so nice, you know. So yeah, I, I watched this movie when I was super young, um, and I, you know, my parents kind of like grew me up on like Metallica and Megadeth and Pantera and shit like that. So I was already kind of in the realm of metal. But this like really opened my mind to like the depths of black metal and shit. So I can attribute this soundtrack to a lot of my uh, appreciation and love for like real deep, heavy black metal, you know, and stoner metal and stuff. That's so fucking yeah. insane. Yeah, That's don't so cool. don't watch it if you're squeamish. I mean, there's nothing super explicit, but it's very depressing and very nihilistic. So yeah, Gummo soundtrack is my uh, is my third <laughs> my third pick. <laughs> 
Well, I only have two movies then because if we're not doing Interstellar, but so my second pick would be motherfucking Nightmare Before Christmas. Hell yeah. Danny Elfman kills that shit. And the reason why I like this movie so much and the soundtrack to it is just because nostalgia. I'm not going to mm-hmm. lie, bro. This is Halloween. Uh, what's the one? Uh, the one where uh, Shock, Lock, Shock, and Barrel go to get Santa Claus. Yeah. And they're talking about how they're going to like get him and like beat his ass and then take him <laughs> back. Like It's so fucking good. Um, the one where Jack's all depressed and he like walks through the woods and does, and ends up finding like the Christmas town. Like every song, even though, okay, maybe it's cheating cause it's kind of a musical and it's like a Disney movie. So there's going to be like more, you know, sing songy songs, but yeah, the soundtrack to that movie is so fucking good. Yeah, I don't think that's it, cheating at all. It's, it's a great, it's a great soundtrack. It so. is. It influenced so much of my life. I was the kid wearing fucking Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack Skellington jackets, and <laughs> fucking beanies and shit. Right, bro. You're getting pushed into lockers, bro. Huh? bro <laughs> no, everybody loved gloves. that shit. You had the cut off gloves too, bro. Damn. I wish I had fingerless. Oh. Uh, bro, if I had fingerless gloves, I would have been a menace, bro. <laughs> I'd have challenged you to a shadow realm duel with that shit, bro. Fuck you, me. <laughs> That's my boy. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, I wish I had more to say about it. It's just, the, just the nostalgia carries it a lot. But like, if you actually go back and listen, like I did. Each song you could like actually listen to casually, like for example, like I said, the the kidnapping Santa Claus song, the actual like beat to it is actually insane. Yeah, it's it's way harder than like it, it is in the movie, like in the actual soundtrack, like, mm-hmm. and and all the voice actors killed it. There's two different uh, um, vocalists for Jack Skellington, but the the singing one kills it. Yeah, absolutely kills it. Sally, same thing. And then all the covers that this movie brought so many covers. Sally's song by uh, Amy Lee from yeah, Evanescence. Dude. So fucking Marilyn good. Manson cover. The, the Marilyn Halloween. Manson of This uh, Is Halloween. Yeah. He's canceled fucking, but bro, I'm not gonna lie. That, <laughs> that shit, shit goes hard. Oh my god. Where he where he said pumpkin scream in the dead of night. Uh, dude. Oh, everybody scream. <laughs> oh, I was screaming my little ass head off, bro. Like Disney's OP. Yeah, that, Disney. I had yeah, to that keep might Disney be a off of all my shit. Like, even honorable mentions, like, Disney's OP. Yeah. Bro, Tarzan. <laughs> oh, the Tarzan. Here. Bro, they're, Soul. They're, they're Go second ahead. golden Soul age. Their second golden age. Like you said, Tarzan. Like, all those, like, mid-90s Beauty and the Beast, bro. Like, all Dude. of those are so fucking good. OP. OP as fuck. OP. You good on yours? Yes. Cool. All right. Well, <laughs> 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 well good. Oh, shut the fuck up already. Because oh, mine was your one of your honorable mentions. Oh, okay, let's go. Scott Pilgrim. Oh, oh nice. Scott, no, Pilgrim. Scott, uh, Scott Pilgrim almost made it. Like, honestly, since I d- can't say Interstellar, I probably should have picked, like, a Scott Pilgrim type. But Because it's so good. It's so yeah, there's only one Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, Scott Let Pilgrim this man know. Bro. Let this man know. <laughs> so, I mean, this, this, this whole, this movie itself was a comfort movie. So as soon as it was, as soon as it came out, dude, this movie was on all the time. And then once I, once I got this on vinyl, it was over. It, it was, was done. Game over. GGs, baby. Game over. That Urban Outfitters exclusive, mm. <laughs> done. <laughs> but bro, I mean, from the band itself, like Sex Bobomb. If for those of you who haven't seen the movie, the, we are Sex Bobomb. It, it's about a band called Sex Bobombs, and they're pretty much like half of the soundtrack along with. Beck, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, it's Beck. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Dude, but I was like in my biggest I was in my biggest like indie phase during this time. Like along with uh like Perks mm. Perks of being a wallflower and uh Nick, Nick and Nora. Nora. Okay. Yeah, like obviously all these movies came around around the same time. But like this was like heavier than just like the standard indie that you got. Right. And so I was all over this. Yeah, it was it was like almost like a punk sound. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah like the whole, like, that. Like, the whole like, like DIY scene of the movie itself. Yeah. Yeah, like the house shows and stuff and like it's punk and garage rock. It's literally like a white garage stripes. Garage rock, yeah. Yeah. You know, sound but also with like the punk. And then you have like great like the boss fights and like each one has like crazy different music. Like what's that fault at the beginning with all the like the goth like vampire chicks and it's oh. all like Middle <laughs> oh, Eastern and yeah, shit, bro. Dude. Like it's I don't, I don't remember his name. I don't remember the name. Yeah, it's fucking Pepe Le Pew. Fucking <laughs> ass. Like, I don't know, but what what what's some of your favorite tracks from that? Oh, dude, Metric Black Sheep. 
Oh, come on, oh, bro. Yeah, I played that easy. Fucking, so good. Come on. So to bring it full circle, it was cool because there's another band on there called Broken Social Scene. Okay. And at the, you know, I mean, still to this day, one of my favorite bands is a group called Stars. And Stars and Metric and a couple other Canadian bands formed the super group, The Broken Social Scene. Nice. Oh, and shit. So it all like came full circle nice. for me. So I was like, holy shit, The Broken Social Scene is like where it's at. And so it was cool because, like, I knew all of, like, the bands. Where they came from. I knew where they came from originally. And then I was like, oh, cool. They all made this super group. And now this is, like, one of my favorite bands. Fuck yeah. Fuck. But, yes. like, of course, but right off the rip, though, it was, like, a lot of their their own songs. The Sex the Bomb. And then The Beck, Broken Social Scene, Metric. But mm-hmm. that's my third pick. Scott Pilgrim versus The World. Fire. I don't know how I should do this, honestly. Like, you guys, we all said, like, three, two, one. But I... Like, I don't fucking know. They're all kind of tied for first. Doesn't matter. Fuck. Doesn't matter. Just all right, say, well, I'll throw you guys off because I, I know no one's going to have this one, but it, this is fucking rooted in me. I had to. It's not the best movie ever, but it's just... It but was the soundtrack? Just, <laughs> huh? But the soundtrack? But the soundtrack's, is, it, it, the soundtrack has mad roots into what I love, and it was his directorial debut. Can you guys guess? Directorial debut based off my fucking like interest. Well, I fucking like, Jackie Brown. No, <laughs> Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> no, that was Reservoir Dogs. Ba- based, oh, it was shit. based off my all time favorite music genre, like all time, hands down. The Witch. No, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking about The Witch putting it up there though. The soundtrack to that movie. Yeah, was The Witch really, is good. Yeah, yeah the, the Witch is, is what? Scary. I don't. I don't fucking my know. My all time favorite nineties nineties hip hop and then okay. directorial debut. Take a guess. Oh, a white man can jump. No. Oh, okay, my bad. I don't know, dude. You right? You give up? Vanilla Sky? No. Okay, go ahead. Mid nineties. Oh. That wasn't in the nineties. You're an idiot. <laughs> the sound, it was based in the nineties, or you know, I it was thought based the movie came out in the nineties. Yeah, oh, I said that's... my favorite hip hop genre is nineties hip hop. Yeah. I, you guys know okay, this. okay, but you know what we're saying too. No, like, I don't know because I make kind of. I don't. Know. <laughs> yeah, you oh. phrased it wrong, my guy. My bad. How I said it, it's my favorite genre of music. No, like but you insinuated hip-hop. that it came out in the nineties. No, mid nineties though. Bro, when they Mid-90s used Tears nice. by Wu Tang for Dude. the promotional, and then I remember, uh, what's his name? The one who directed it. What's his name? <clears throat> Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill was like, "Yeah, I I used Tears because you know everybody bought the Wu Tang record, you know, Thirty Six Chambers, and everybody skipped Tears, you know. Yeah. But I said, "Fuck that. We're we're putting that as the promotional yep. fucking Dude. song. This guy and has it's so good. This guy so has good. my some of my all time favorite fucking like songs." Yeah, ever, bro. Wu-Tang, the way it ends Gizzo, with De La Soul, side, bro. De La Soul, yeah, like, dude. Damn, that's a great pick. Yeah, Mid nineties is a totally, really good. Yeah, one. Warren G's, Tupac, bro. Uh, Grave Diggers, come on, Public Enemy. Like the soundtrack, the whole movie. The movie was really good. Was really good. It wasn't great. It was yeah, really good. It was a great. It was a but good the movie, sound, yeah. yeah, the soundtrack and the way it was it was uh, filmed at, at two by four, right? Two uh, I don't know the ratio, but Eight. the ratio was two two four, right? They but got ratio. The ADP? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but it was filmed really awesome, and the soundtrack just come on, just all rap, dude, throughout the no, whole. Yeah, you're right. Thing. You're right, bro. The way it ends, with De La Soul, like that. Yeah, dude, that movie oh. gave me such huge nostalgia flashbacks with growing up skating. You oh. know, uh, I mean, obviously, listening to a lot of like '90s hip hop, like to this day, hieroglyphics reminds me a lot of that. Uh, De La Soul reminds you of that Tribe Called Quest so to watch that movie and to hear that soundtrack playing it was just like a blast to the past dude, dude like, that's what it I'm took saying. me to it my 8th grade year it's fucking yeah. crazy yeah. It's, I, li- like, I listen to majority of that soundtrack every day not even like from a playlist from that soundtrack but just those but just songs. cause you actually listen to those, that music it's, I listen to it like every fucking day yeah, yeah. so alright first round done first round done of uh, movie soundtracks huh? we made it Oh, we sweating. We sweating. All right. Pop the molly. Number two. My number two pick is going to be Under the Skin by Michael Levy. Oh, shit. Yeah. With uh, Scar Jo? Scar Jo. Scarlett Johansson. Spoiler, if you haven't seen the movie. Um, in Under the Skin, Scarlett Johansson plays this alien that comes down to Earth and basically like takes the form of this female human, but she uses it to seduce and kill men. Um, so it's a very, very ominous movie in itself. You know, it's very creepy. Like her, she, you know, she's playing an alien. So it's very her, uncanny. It's very, uncanny, very though. uncanny because the way she's playing her character is very like rigid. And like, you could tell she's like trying to learn the movements of a human, yeah. you know, by yeah. basically learning it from other people. 
And um, yeah, like you said, Uncanny is a perfect description. And the soundtrack to this is also a perfect, a pairing. perfect pairing. Yes, it's a perfect pairing to this. Uh, Michael Levy kills his shit. I, I can't lie. I have no idea what else she's done. I'm sure she has because she's a master <laughs> at her craft. But dude. Love is one of my favorite songs of all time. Love is like the perfect. So the thing about the soundtrack, right, is it's very dark and ominous. It has this very like if you listen to death, death is. Oh, my God. Death is one of the creepiest songs I've ever heard. You know, drift meant to maths is really fucking good just because they're just so ominous and just so like they hit you in your gut. You know what I mean? Like so when you listen to those songs, there's something about it that's like okay there's some shit that's bad you know this is this is very bad yeah and then you hear love and love is like it just sounds so nostalgic and it sounds so sweet and it sounds very like human in a way if it if that even makes sense right um so to evoke these emotions you know in this like synth slash string soundtrack is just phenomenal in my opinion right um yeah under the skin michael levy killed it i i it was very hard to put this number two. My <laughs> my number one just out edges it, but right. yeah, th- this is a great. It's a great movie on its own, but if you're not into that style of movie, then at least give the soundtrack a listen because it is pretty much perfect. You, you sure you want to skip over your second Interstellar? You good? I love Interstellar. <laughs> that is all. Okay, just, just making sure. If you want to talk about it, you're more than welcome to. But thank you. All right, well, damn, mine's the exact opposite of yours. Oh uh, shit! Five hundred days of summer. <laughs> Oh, fuck. La La Land. Oh, Bro. that's a good one. La La Land with Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. Straight up just jazz. If you want to if you want to get into jazz, I highly recommend this movie and this soundtrack. Because jazz comes, like, <laughs> jazz can be pretty intense. And this movie is, like, a nice, like, little, like, gateway into it. Nice. Um, Essentially, the movie the movie is just about a dude who just wants to be a jazz musician, and he meets a girl who knows nothing about it, and he kind of just like he she he they started dating, and she he just she just he bring he brings her along. For he the brings ride. her in, and it's like this is jazz, and she loves it. It's just like you know typical indie like cutesy movie, but um, it's actually cool because Ryan Gosling actually plays a lot of the piano parts in the movie because he is a musician. He knows Damn. how to play him, you're saying? Yeah, and wow. if you did not know, like I said, he is a musician. He actually has an album out. Shut the fuck up. Called Dead Man's Bones, which was released <gasps> in 2009 or eight. I heard of that shit. That's it's Ryan Gosling. low-key kind of fire. It's like, <laughs> it's like that indie goth. Yeah, like kind of folkish. It's, no. Well, yeah, yeah, folkish. And it's supposed to be like spooky. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, Dead Man's Bones is actually Ryan Gosling. It's, it's like a... It's like a uh, unholy bridges or whatever. Yeah. The, or, oh, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like that, like yeah, like that, like goth fucking mm-hmm. steampunk yeah. vibe or whatever. Steam- yeah. So <laughs> it, it's it's cool. So like um, so he did all of the piano scenes in the movie. That's sick. And again, the whole the whole movie is just based around jazz. And so um, you got Emma Stone singing, got Ryan Gosling on the keys. Doesn't get any better than that. Well, like I said, let me let typical. me uh, let me piggyback off that because I have the perfect, literally the most perfect oh, response to that. For number two, yeah, for number right. two, what literally. Is, talk, bastards. <laughs> talking about jazz <laughs> and intense, I have to bring up my second. It was gonna be my first pick, but it's just so perfect. I can't miss the fucking moment, bro. Okay, it's a uh, whiplash. Oh, dude, whiplash is a yeah. good one. Yep. Yes. On my. Fucking time! Yeah. <laughs> Are you dragging or? <laughs> Dude, that movie's so sick. Yeah, that so movie's literally nice. a perfect, perfect, literally perfect. Couldn't be more perfect. Follow up to yours. Talking about intense and jazz. Listening to Whiplash. Not even watching the movie is fucking just orgasmic to say the fucking least. Mm. But watching the movie throughout the whole thing has you so tuned in into the whole the whole sound of it and the cinematography of it just because of what's going on. The acting is spectacular, but the soundtrack just carries everything, man. The drums, the fucking Oh yeah, because the drums are like the focus of everything. The drums yeah. are the focus of everything, but when they when they 
tune in with into the 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 jazz part of it, man. You just get fucking lost in it, dude. Mm. And they like the, it's a spectacle. It's literally a spectacle. You you would think you're not into jazz, but fuck, man. Listen to Whiplash. Just that's it. That's the song too. I mean, that's the movie title, but that's just a song. Listen to, just to that song, Whiplash, and you'll understand what I'm talking about. It's fucking amazing. My second pick. Perfect piggyback from yours. Yeah, that was a perfect segue. Damn, that's Hell such a yeah. good one. And yeah, the movie's so visceral, and yeah. so is the fucking music too. It's ooh, that's Take, a good pick, man. Takes you a Damn, ro- a roller a coaster. Pick. A roller coaster. All right, going into our number ones for the movies, baby. Woo, let's go. Let's go. My number one is going to be the score uh, for Requi- Requiem for a Dream. Oh, that's a good one. Bro. Requiem for a Dream, dude. At the end, bro, when it yeah. shows all like that little montage. The montage of everybody up. like delving into their drugs. Yep. Clint Manziel. Clint Manziel fucking killed it. Lux Shout Aterna. out Clint, bro. He's fucking sick. Shout out Clint, man. Lux Aterna is, I mean, it, that's a really famous song on its own. So you've probably yeah. heard that. Yeah. Um, and some fucking Modern Warfare 2 montage. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> the movie is basically like split into like summer and fall. So he has like different soundtracks for both summer and fall. And like you said, at the very end when it's going into the fall season and it's the wrap up of the movie. And it's like you, the main theme of the movie, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's it's when uh, you see um, Jared Leto's character. Um, he's uh what well, he's getting his arm amputated yes and then his girlfriend i forget her name but she's fucking she's pimping herself out you know and then marlon wayans is it oh i don't know one of the I, wayans what yeah one of the wayans brothers he's in prison you know what i mean yeah. and he got caught up in all that and then jared leto's mom is still addicted to these pills and she's getting the shock therapy oh my god dude and like the music goes to her getting shocked yes, dude like this movie is the perfect description of despair and of just like total loss of faith and hopelessness. of hopelessness. Yeah, exactly. And Clint Manziel captures that perfectly. It's the strings are just so like, they just fucking cut you in the chest, dude. Like they let you know that, you know, these people have lost everything and there's no hope left after that. Right. It's just, it, it's really hard to put into words. It's something you definitely have to watch and listen for yourself. Um, but yeah, Clint Manziel, Requiem for a Dream. It takes my number one spot. God damn. That something that always reminds me of that soundtrack. Something that always reminds me of that soundtrack is Donnie Darko. Donnie Darko is a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't know Donnie why, Darko but is a good one. That movie always reminds me of Donnie Darko. And just because you're bringing it up is Donnie Darko soundtrack is actually really good too. Yeah. Spoiler alert. That's another, that's another, uh, uh, pick from one of our Instagram followers. Really? So we'll get yeah. to that. Yeah, shout out to. How them. am I picking all the fucking? <laughs> like, I don't even have the Instagram anymore. Hey man, our followers have good taste. I don't say. Yeah, well, I have hey good no, taste. Hey no, no, no <laughs> our followers me. Oh, <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, our joke. Playlist it's a now. joke. It's a it, joke. Like how? Um, <laughs> it's a joke. He said all out. <laughs> like it, Mad World, right? Mad World. Yeah. Like how Mad World really captures that like dark, deep essence of despair oh. in Donnie Darko. Yeah, that's the it, reason why it reminds me of Requiem for a Dream. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the same exact way that you know Requiem for a Dream um, captures that hopelessness and that it really puts you in the shoes of these people who are in the depths and the throes of addiction. In the f- all right, right here, my number one. No one's gonna get this because it's fucking random as hell. <laughs> um, but as you guys may well be aware, I love horror movies. Horror movies are my jam. Um, and some of the most iconic ones, you know, ring out, you know, and are so recognizable, you know, but this one's a little different. This one is the soundtrack to number one movie. Number one pick for me. Soundtrack to it follows. Have any of you seen it follows? I have. It's a good movie. No, no. Yes. Yes. It's a good good movie. movie. Yeah. So for Keenan and those who haven't seen it, it follows, is a fucking crazy ass movie. <laughs> I kind of don't even want to talk about the movie. I just want to talk about the sound because it's fucking insane. But it follows the it's 18 tracks. The composer disaster piece curates some of the most twisted and beautiful dark synth I've ever heard in my life. It's curious and whimsical at one point, and it hard cuts to. High pace, horrific, unrelenting, heart pounding, about to jump out of your fucking chest. 
insanity. Like he 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 has a great mixture of both of those. It's it's horror done right. You know what I mean? He he just he encaptures what it what it feels like to be chased by a fucking unrelenting monster. He get he or they I don't know, like just fully get that so well so perfectly. Um, just that constant tension. Just, tension. There yeah. you go. It's just it's like filled with tension. Never like never feeling like you're safe. At, yeah. No. That that's the thing though. He has some tracks where you feel like you're floating on a pixelated cloud in <laughs> in 16 bit, and you feel like you can conquer the world and save the princess in that motherfucking castle, bro. That's how fucking good it is. It's it's it has the whimsical like calming, and then it has the suffocating just blanket horror like on top of it. It, it, it it's fucking incredible bro some of the top tracks would be detroit lake word hills the title track inquiry company and old maid it's one of the most heart racing soundtracks i've ever heard shout outs to disaster piece it's it's like if mario went to hell i'd love it <laughs> all right the dude that plays paul in your movie because so i just looked it up cure yeah. gilchrist yeah, he's, cool. he's in a He's in a Scram's death metal band. He's a singer. <laughs> no way. Yep. Damn, what? everybody just has their own like little bands. Yeah, because <laughs> the so the lead singer of Touche, um, he has his own podcast. And they're like best friends. What? And um he yeah, he's uh he's a crazy like Scram's like death metal singer. That's fucking hard. And you wouldn't think of it because he's like the fucking nerdy yeah, kid he's from like yeah. atypical. Bro, he plays yeah, the autistic dude. kid in, in atypical. Uh, in atypical. Yeah, exactly. so I was gonna say it's like that's literally how the their podcast starts. Well, they're like, yeah, like, yeah, they're like, you know, no one thinks of you, yeah, like as like a singer or even like a heavy metal like listener, yeah. And no, nah, that dude fronts like a fucking straight it. up scram. He band. fucking gets it. That's fucking hard. yeah. I have to play his music after this. Oh, I'm yeah. so down. I'm so but, down. Anyways, all right. So my number one pick. Um, shout out to Ruin to Ruben for uh, spoiling it. <laughs> um, it's Five Hundred Days of Summer. Yeah, Woo! that I, I knew it had to be there somewhere. That I could have easily paired with Nick and Nora and Perks of being a wallflower. Hundred yeah. percent. That's like the same uh, it, it's metaverse. All, all, all <laughs> metaverse. Yeah. Exactly. The meta- it's like exactly. The same metaverse. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, literally, like all three movies have like the same fucking soundtrack. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure two of them both have like the black lips. But <laughs> this this soundtrack was like this. It, it sent it over the top for me because, like I said, with all the other ones, like I was heavy into my indie phase, and so when this movie came out, it, this this album was everything. Um, another uh, another member of Broken Social Scene, oh, Feist, okay, okay, is is in this soundtrack. Um, of course, you, dude, you got the Smiths. Like I said, you got the Black Lips, you got the Temper Trap, and then that's when I found out that Zoe Deschanel, the lead actress in that movie, yeah. was in her own band. What she and wait him. what? Yeah, she, she's actually still active in that band. It's called cool. She and Him. What the fuck? What are they just now too? She's my my all time favorite fucking actress cr- crush. No, eh? Oh, I love, love it. Her. Nice. And then yeah, the reason my type of chick. And I was like huge into it because like one of my favorite bands, Death Cab for a Cutie, uh, mm. the lead singer of Death Cab, they were in they were married at one point. And so what? that was like, oh yeah, so I was like oh my god, her is Louis Vuitton. Yeah, so Ben Gibbard and Zoe, and so that's why I was like no, all no, over no, this. No. I was like, <laughs> yeah, so I was like all over this movie, like because of that. I was like, oh my god, and then, but I mean, the movie, damn, just corny indie film. Not gonna lie, pretty corny. It was uh, it was a corny indie film. It, it turned into a pretty a pretty big like top tier movie. It, yeah, time. it's a product of yeah. its time. I yeah, would it say. is. A product yeah, of oh, yeah, time. yeah, definitely. And then I mean the soundtrack. If it's a perfect, I mean, you got Regina Spector opening up the fucking soundtrack, so good. Um, I mean, what can more can you ask for from a indie film? It's just a good indie artist. True. My turn. Yeah, your turn. Number one. Okay. Well, you guys already know my number one. I don't. For a movie? Yeah. No. Say it. No. Uh, my number one is The Social Network. Fucking knew it. Oh. <laughs> Social Network is a great one. Great, 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 soundtrack. Great, is great soundtrack. great soundtrack. Fuck Facebook, though, but for I real. knew it. It's, yeah. it's so funny. For real, bitch. What? You still use it. Facebook? Yeah. No, I didn't say that to him. He said, he said fuck Facebook. No, I said it to what you oh, said. Oh, yeah, we all say what fuck. Say? 
You said you clapped, and I said, "Yeah, for real." Oh. So I, I get the whole dude. So taking <laughs> take take. So I'm trying to roast you. Your eyes. I'm on your side, you asshole. So taking uh the fact that yeah, in IRL Facebook is kind of shitty, and Mark Zuckerberg is a shitty person. The movie Social Networks is actually really fucking amazing. Uh, what the fuck's his name? Who uh, Jesse it? Eisenberg. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Andy Sorkin. It. I don't know. I don't know but, but Jesse Jesse Eisenberg killed killed the role of Mark killed Zuckerberg. it. So yeah, did Andrew bro. Garfield. Our, Andrew Garfield also killed it. Yeah, uh, dude. I just thought Timber- was British, by the way. What the fuck? Yeah, he's British. Uh, Justin Timberlake also kills it, even though he's a fucking douchebag in that movie. Bro, Brenda <laughs> Song was in that shit, bro. Shout yeah, out Brenda, Brenda Song. Oh, yeah. Shout out Brenda Song. She fine as hell. Hell but, yeah. Uh, one of the, my favorite all time uh, movie scenes is uh, Andrew Garfield smashing the fucking <sighs> keyboard and just was telling me like, "You better lawyer up, asshole." Yeah. Because yeah. I'm not coming for twenty percent. I'm coming back for all of it. How does he say it though? Say how he says it. That's literally how he said it. Oh, doesn't he say it like <laughs> all of it or something? No, he or he says it all calm. He says it calm. He's like, I'm coming back for all of it. Damn, that's, that's what kills that's it. Cold. Yeah. Kills that's it. cold. Kills it. I I always rewatch that scene. But yeah, uh, what's the, what's his name? Travis, uh, Trent Reznor, killed Trent the soundtrack, Reznor. man. You're talking about earlier how in the horror movie the tension and it follows and the suspense that that soundtrack gives you in a horror movie. That's the same thing I get, but in a drama. In a drama. In a drama. Yeah, in, a drama in a drama that's like actually kind of like lighthearted and funny. Exactly. It, it yeah. kind of paints Mark Zuckerberg exactly. in, in like not as bad of a light as yeah. he deserves. Like it's exactly. Crazy. Yeah. Literally that Good same point. Tension. That's a great point. That's yeah. a great point. So throughout the whole movie, like yeah, it's like it's exactly how you said, like funny, uh, comedic, uh, drama, and just like uh, a regular film, but you. Trent Reznor adds this soundtrack to it that really gives you the emotion that gives you that makes you move to the edge of the seat yep. because of literally just the soundtrack. There's like fuck, what's coming up? Like the suspense is killing me. The tension is just extremely hard fucking core. And I listen to it just like exactly how I listen to shout out just regular noises like rain. It's just wonderful background music to listen to that get you am- amped up to like perfect because i listen to just regular rain on youtube 24 7 they have shout out rain, rain. Mm-hmm. yeah shout out r- rain rainy mood like, exactly when you're in the rainy mood bro shout out lo-fi bro shout out uh 10 hours of rain sounds shout out 10 Black. hours of the yeah, shout out 10 hours of the weed theme song <laughs> <laughs> shout out 10 hours of the minecraft music exactly dude shout yeah. out 10 hours of the ah <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> TikTok sound <laughs> man kills it, bro. bro. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but uh, jokes aside, bro, he fucking my number one pick, all time favorite soundtrack. It won a Grammy for it too, not a Grammy, no an Oscar. Yeah, it won an Oscar what? for uh, the soundtrack for, for it. For soundtrack? Yeah, for the soundtrack, Whoa. it won it. That's um, insane. Fact check me. I'm pretty. I'm like ninety percent sure it won a soundtrack for it, but. The soundtrack is mm-hmm. impeccable, literally. Yeah, and it's so funny. Like, for, for a movie that, you know, doesn't have as much at stake, quote-unquote, you know? Like, like there isn't anything within the movie that really... Like, like let's say you watch, like, a, a an action movie. You know, the, the, the stake um, is they're going to blow up the fucking... The White House. Yeah. Oh, my God, the president's daughter. Exactly. And just like, I'm going to sue you. Yeah. And then but, like, the tension of that, you know? Exactly. Dude. In a horror movie, the tension is, I'm going to fucking kill you and do whatever. Fuck you up, brother. Yeah. And yeah. The, the body's in the in bathroom. In the scene that I was describing where Andrew Garfield was like, I'm not coming back for 20%. I'm coming back for all of it. The, just right there, just the soundtrack right there when he says it, it's fucking like, you're just like... Might as well have like fucking dro- drove off a cliff into a fucking pillar, <laughs> yeah, into fucking a pillar of skyscrapers or like a big ass <laughs> building where it explodes and shit. Might as well have been the same, exact same thing because I got that yeah. exact same emotion. Yeah, it, it's so. so dope that a, a movie that's quote unquote mundane has such an insane soundtrack paired insane, with it. Insane, dude. Yeah, and I, when I first watched it, I remember like, okay, it's just a movie about Facebook, but man, I rewatch it more than three times a year, man. I fucking love that movie. Not even just because it's based off Facebook or anything, just because solely of the so- soundtrack. The soundtrack's on my Spotify playlist, off on my YouTube playlist. Like, listen to the soundtrack all the fucking time. All right, baby, that wraps up our movies. Whew. Whew. Man, it's been a marathon. That was heat. We we still we still have another category to go. I, all right, huh? 
Okay. I am gonna need these movies down. I need you guys to all like write these movies. Down oh yeah. So to watch them. Oh yeah. We write them down. Especially you, Ruben and Isaac. Oh yeah. You need to send me your honorable mentions. I haven't seen like any of your honorable Shit. mentions. I got you. Right. I got you. Sorry, the all rock right. All the yeah, for real. Detroit Rock City and shit. All right, let's get into these video games, baby. Let's get. Let's it. start this shit off. All I'm right. Excited. Number three for me is gonna be the soundtrack to Time Splitters Future Perfect. What the fuck? And I knew you were gonna pick I, Time Splitters. I, I knew. You're a sick I know. Fuck. Like, I've never met anybody in my life who has played this game, and it's not only does it have a wonderful soundtrack, it's one of the funnest arcade shooters ever made. It's God, I love this game so much. I. I can't talk about it because I'm going to go on and on. So basically, the setting of the game is um, the main character. It, it's just a shoot 'em up you know? It, it's just a typical, like, first-person shooter type of game. Um, but the the basis of the game is your main character goes through these different time frames and these different time periods. So he's jumping between, like, you know, 1800 Scotland, and he's jumping between, like, 70s disco and like 2000s like horror mansion and shit so like you're you're set in these different settings you know and you're playing in all these different type of areas um and the soundtrack goes so perfect with it and and it's it's all original music like the um like the the original song for like the nightclub is fucking amazing i remember dude no go ahead go ahead you okay we're playing whatever we're playing right Uh And this man goes, dog, motherfucking time splitters. I'm like, bitch, what you know about time splitters? <laughs> Whatever. Right? And he's like, nah, dog. And then he sends a nightclub theme. Dude. And then I'm over here just with my headphones. And, and it's like, I, I can't even do the noise of the song. Yeah. But it was so fucking good. I was <laughs> low-key pissed. I was it, like. It's act- it's an actually it, good. It's it's like a bop, bro. It's low-key a bop. Oh, you, you play that shit, bro, at like. At like 4.30 in the morning, bro, and you're all fucking zooted out, bro. Oh, you're about to fucking get twisted, bro. You're about to eat a fucking tamale with the husk on it, bro. (laughs) Fucking crazy shit. Exactly. Exactly. Like that song on its own. Funny enough, it was was, uh, taken. I, I I don't know if it was sampled or I don't know if they bought the rights or what. But Fortnite took that song. Oh. And there was this certain like a part. Dance? No, the song. Like the they song put itself. it in a dance song, I'm saying? Like an emote? No, like it's it plays on a certain part of the map. There's that's a part. Sick, actually. Th- there's a part of the map on Fortnite that turns into like a disco, and that's oh. the song that plays. Oh, is it like a copyright free song, and we're just fucking idiots? <laughs> no, I I, it's like yeah, the always, I imagine it's like the always sunny theme song or something. We're like this is it's just fire. free. Yeah. Oh my god, this is original. Holy yeah, shit. it's all copyright free. <laughs> Either way, even if it was copyright free, that shit's fire. But. It, it first appeared in Sp- Time Splitter. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's well, that actually, matters. well, actually, well, actually, it came out of the, the Dreamcast <laughs> in the Atari. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> either way, either way, either way, either way. It, chill, it, fits, chill, chill. it fits perfect with the setting of the video game. You know, the nightclub is by far the best song in my opinion. Uh, That's fair. But they have this like super dope like Western song set in the Western map. Of of the game, no. Uh, the horror the horror song for like the theme or like for the uh, horror mansion theme of the game is fucking dope too. The Scottish song for the damn <laughs> Scotland Yard is fucking fire. Like, it, it's just it's such a fun game and the soundtrack complements it very well. It's undoubtedly in my top three. I'm gonna play the nightclub. <laughs> I we're gonna get down as fuck in the kitchen after. We're Marco's either gonna, gonna two step or shake yeah. ass. I was gonna say Marco's gonna start. Yeah. 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 Okay, so my number three all time has to be. Anybody guess? No? Okay. Drum roll, please. Resident Evil 4. Oh! Good one. Resident Evil 4, the one that literally changed third person shooters. That it, it, it's an icon in the industry. This man is wearing a Gears of War shirt. Gears of War wouldn't even be around without. Resident Evil 4 and what they that, did. I, <laughs> I mean, it literally is true, but I got, all I got to say, baby, the fucking save theme song, bro. The, the music song. that plays, that piano. Doom, 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 doom. Bro. I remember my brother would be all nodded out and I fucking, he'd be saving the, the game and I'd be there chilling with him like all like like three in the morning all waking up to take a piss and it'd just be dun, 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 dun. Yeah. and i just like fall asleep to that shit bro and it'd be the greatest shit ever bro like like literally that pick is just for the same music alone that's how great that shit is bro but shout out to resident evil the franchise because they've always had a good save 
save themes. Oh, like yeah. when you go and save. They've always had really solid soundtracks, but yeah. 100%. Resident Evil 4 took it to another. It took it to another level, Dude. bro. They they cuz what happened was is they added action to it. So yeah. you have the creepy, you know, like that creepy ambiance and then you have like the big exciting action scenes with rocket launchers and you know giant monsters and shit so mm-hmm. yeah it, it's a great juxtaposition between the two re4 fucking insane that save music and i don't mean like the regular say i mean when you're in the typewriter and it goes like you're all typing in it and it plays that i can listen to that on a fucking 10 hour black screen loop on youtube bro i don't give a fuck bro Man, yeah. the the um the song that plays when you're fighting the Chainsaw Sisters. Oh, oh, dude, oh, it's that fucking, fucking heart racing, bro. The first time you go into the castle, it it totally switches up. Yes. You know what I mean? And it's like this like creepy gothic style now. Like fucking love it. Shout out Resident Evil Four. So my third is actually gonna be it's kind of op. Sorry, yeah. it's Guitar Hero. Specifically, oh, Guitar Hero. Which one? Which Specifically, one? three. Guitar two. Hero three. Guitar Hero three. The Legends of Rock. Lame. What? Like two is better. No, two is not. hard. Two, two ends with you doing the solo of a uh, Freebird, bro, and no, it's like twelve yeah, minutes long, and bro, my little ass is all fucking cramped bro, up. Bro, yeah, no, for real. Like two has Anthrax, two has well, Alex Family Chains. God, uh, all kinds of shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Alice Death Chains. Clock, Thunder Horse. Yep, it does. It has Thunder Horse. Like. Yeah, uh, yours has your ha- Iron Maiden. Yours has some two bangers, is hard, bro. but dude, three, three. You got Iron Maiden. You got Metallica. You got Sabbath. You got Slayer. No, nah, you're yeah. yeah three's hard. Three's you got hard. Raining Blood. Are you kidding me, bro? Yeah, that's pretty hard. You got Beastie Boys. You got everybody. Got yeah, Beastie Boys. Yeah, no sabotage. Or what? Sabotage. So like, I know it's kind of OP because I mean, all the Guitar Heroes. Like, I can mention every single one of them. Yeah, you could have picked anyone, and it would have been a exactly. Cheaper. But I mean, obviously the OGs. Like, yeah, two is. Two was like the funnest to play, but soundtrack wise, it it was three for me. Um, I remember playing three at the movie theaters, trying to go see like, fucking, like those parody movies, like epic movie or something, yeah. and I'm all trying to play Guitar Hero, spending fucking a dollar fifty to play a song <laughs> that I could just play at my homie's house, like a fucking idiot. Right. But anyways, that's so sorry. funny because like no, like every single arcade we we go to, if there's a Guitar Hero, I'm there. Right, bro. And it's always Guitar Hero three. Yeah, it's it is. always three. It is. It's never it is. two. Yeah. It's never like the fucking Metallica one or whatever. Like it's always three. It's 100%. always three. Did you guys have a go to song? Oh, Black Magic Woman. Ooh, dude. Santana. Yeah, dude, love that shit. Dude, what what I what you got, one, Isaac? But... Either that one or Stricken by Disturbed. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Paranoid. Paranoid was mine. Paranoid. Is Paranoid or the the Iron Maiden song? Was it the Trooper? Uh, no, it was Number of the Beast. Oh, never mind then. But definitely Paranoid. What was your favorite song? Barracuda. Barracuda. Yes, sir. Bro, come on. just Yes, sir. Bro, the intro to that song on Expert sucked. Yeah. Bro, the intro. I only liked it so much because that's what helped me get from easy to medium. So I played it. Oh, it was that song? Yeah. Nice. It's a good one. Yeah, like to this day, like I was saying, like I always go to like to the Guitar Hero machine, dude. It's always Eric Johnson, Cliffs of Dover. Damn, Which one? Wait, Cliffs of Dover. That one's tough. Cliffs of Dover. I don't know. Oh, you would, I, him, you would know as soon it. as I played it. Yeah. Hum it, hum it. This fuck off. No, you're good. You're good. Wait, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> no, so like, no, that's that's the one I go to, and it's like one of the longest songs too. So I was like, dude, I'm in an arcade. I'm spending a dollar on this game. I'm gonna be here for four and a half minutes. Mm. Y'all can wait. Put the cord on top, baby. Y'all waiting after me. <laughs> bro, yeah, that's no. how serious you are. You put the strap over your shoulder. You oh yeah, bro. It. I'm yeah. <laughs> I'm lifting for star yeah, power, bro. bro I hate using it. the whammy bar in there. It's all broken from the kid before me, but <laughs> yeah. I'm still using it. It's all greasy. Yeah, it's all, bro. It's like this, bro. <laughs> bro, like there used to be a dude that would go to Century Rio and he would go with uh with hand sanitizer and he would go with like Clorox wipes uh-huh. and he would wipe down the guitar after oh, every single time he played it. Damn. He would play it and then he would wipe it down like after him, which was like I guess that's pretty tight. Yeah. But like <laughs> Yeah, for sure do it before you fucking idiot. Bro. Right, but he wasn't there for the movies. <laughs> he was there for he the guitar. Tight. Bro. Yo, yeah. when they used to have fucking air hockey, bro. Oh, bro. Uh, fuck the movie, bro. I'll, I'll fucking play you to seven every day, bro. 
Word. Or whatever That's it was, hard. 10. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Sorry. Dark Hero 3. Dark Hero 3. Great. Great one. Wonderful kind of a cheat code, pick. but It was kind of a cheat code. That's all good. It's worth it. Um, My third pick. Fuck. It's, it's so hard, like, we're doing three, two, one because they're like they're all fucking great. Yeah, you don't have to do a specific order if you don't want to. Um, yeah, this is not any any uh specific order, but fuck, my third pick would be uh uh fucking Hollow Knight for the first to start it off. Hollow Knight, yeah. I fucking love this soundtrack to the fucking death of me. That soundtrack is so peaceful, elegant, soothing, <laughs> fucking mysterious, mysterious like. Everything, man. Um, the False Knight, Green Path, The Hornet. Hornet's probably my favorite one. Yeah, dude, the Hornet that's one. a good one. Yeah. Go City ahead. of Tears is another uh, one of my favorites. Uh, but honestly, the whole soundtrack from front to back. But I honestly really do recommend playing the game while listening to the soundtrack because it just immenses you into the, the game a lot more while you're roaming the paths of the, of the map and finding the bosses. It really... Uh, embodies the whole gameplay while you're listening to uh the the music um what were you saying no, i was gonna say because like i bet no one knows what hollow knight is just like hollow knight is a, is a platform dark souls uh metrovania kind of game so if you like uh cuphead or like uh transylvania games like that then uh what did i say castlevania i said transylvania, transylvania. Ca- uh, yeah you're good, you're well good. metrovania castlevania trans fucking <laughs> Albania. Yeah. 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 Albania. <laughs> if you like Castlevania it's just or like, like Dark cup. Souls, it's like a, those combined. Blasphemous. <gasps> Blasphemous. Yes, dude. Oh. Yeah, so if you like those type of games, Hollow Knight is right down your alley, but way better. Uh, I listen to it till this day, and I actually have been have replayed it recently, too. So Good shit. Um, Hollow Knight is definitely top three. Look it up. Uh, especially because the, they're coming out with the sequel to it too. Yes. Bro, it's called Hollow Knight, uh, the Hornet something. Yeah, but, you get to play as the chick. Yeah, you get to play as the as the actual Hornet. So it's looking forward to it. But check it out. Nice. All right, moving on to our number two picks. So this this one is tough. N- number two was very tough. You know, pick it pick it between my number my number one and my number two. If you say Killer Seven, I'm punching you in the head. No, but Killer Seven is a wonderful game. <laughs> Golden Eye. <laughs> Demon. No, that should be a, a honorable mention though, because GoldenEye is very good. Tetris. Like, that that GoldenEye main theme is insane. Te- yeah, it Tetris. Is. Hey, Loki. Not not even memeing Tetris is good. No, no, Tetris is actually fired. Takoski or whatever his yeah, name is. Yeah, bro, killed that shit. But uh, no, dude. Even Fuck. even looking between them Fuck. now, even looking between these two is hard. But but I have to put Silent Hill two. <sighs> Silent Hill two is my number two. Silent yes. Hill two is absolutely amazing it is a perfect game it's a perfect soundtrack i mean my number one you know more for no- yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah more for nostalgic sake i put up my number one there for a reason but silent hill 2 it, it just perfected everything that a video game needs you know and it, for a survival horror you're saying just not even survival horror just That's a game right. in general like yeah i i me personally, I don't think you need to be a fan of horror in order to appreciate Silent Hill 2 or to see that it's a near flawless game. And uh, but again, that's just the game. The soundtrack yeah, yeah, is yeah, yeah. This, it, we can go on and on about the game, but the soundtrack is amazing. Um, theme of Laura, Ordinary Vanity, Null Moon, Heaven's Night. It's unparalleled. It's really unparalleled to me in the realm of horror video games you know right i mean of course we have a ton that come close as far as like resident evil uh i'm not sure if you guys remember it um fatal frame fatal frame yeah. the one where you take the pictures of yeah. the of the uh, yeah yeah okay. dude fatal frame fear fear oh, fear F-E-A-R. F-E-A-R. yeah dude fear. yeah it's the acronym yeah um you know uh, without without silent hill without yeah, silent hill too fear. you wouldn't have these yeah, type you of wouldn't, soundtracks you wouldn't even it's, have like you you probably wouldn't even have like like Outlast or you know exactly. or Amnesia you, you know what I mean yeah more so Amnesia I, I think Outlast is yeah. a little different but definitely definitely, definitely Amnesia like yeah it, it was a pioneer for sure and then bro the soundtrack the soundtrack bro, is the soundtrack just soundtrack so good so and it, it does something similar you know with what we were talking about earlier you know there's very serene sounding songs but then there's also very you know like um blood anxiety curling. inducing yeah, yeah. blood curling type of songs it's a uh, it's a great mix of both um it's really what helped me get into ambient music really um that's fair yeah like it 
kind of a far cry. You know, it might be a stretch to say this, but like, you know, I'm a big fan of ambient music. So like Brian Eno and, you know, stuff from like Lee Ban and Didi Kind Cut. Um, I, I have to credit a lot of that to Silent Hill too. You know, it, it was, it was just something that really kind of introduced me to that realm of music. So it's just amazing. It, 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 very, very hard to put first. You guys <laughs> might roast me for putting my first as first, You're but good. Silent Hill two is my, my number two, my number two of all time video game licensed music for the soundtrack would be okay. Bioshock one. Oh, good one. That's a good one. Number one. Oh, that's a really good one. Bioshock is a game set in 1959 or 1960, mm-hmm. somewhere around there. So, the thing with the game is what they the developers or you know whoever was in charge of the games they got the rights to a bunch of these old ass license. Uh, they got the license to all of these like old old ass songs, old old songs. So. Let's let's break it down. There's 21 tracks, all licensed, and it essentially started my love for like this older style of music with artists such as the Andrew Sisters, Billie Holiday, as you said before. It it just brings back like those old memories. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bing Crosby, Bobby Darin, uh, Benny Goodman, and Rosemary Clooney, bro. Like, are you kidding me? Like these titans of that era are just in the game, just chilling. Like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> and um, the cool thing about it is the only time you can actually hear the music is if you're in-game and you walk up to the radios that are in the game. It's not even, you know what I mean? So it's it, it the soundtrack is baked into the the environment of the game. You know right. I mean? So that's sorry to cut you off. No, you're good. But you're good. so so that's like the difference between like Fallout and Bioshock is Fallout. You have the radio and you could turn on at any time and you can listen to it at any time you want. Whereas, like you said, with Bioshock, you can only hear it in certain instances. Correct. Like it, like you said, it's built into the environment. It Correct. isn't something that you could just listen to at any time. Uh, yeah, bro. It's and that it, adds to like the ambiance of like the of the game. You know, it, it adds yes. to like the immersion. The immersion. Perfect word, perfect word. It, it, it immerses you so well because you, you're over here like, you know, like, oh, I got to kill a splicer and you zap them or whatever. And it's like, uh, and, you know, you're all hype. And then all of a sudden you hear like, put me a shame. Please let me explain. And you're just like, what the fuck, bro? You put a shotgun blast in this fucking big daddy you're over here hearing this fucking old timey shit. Like, it's just, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. The, another thing that I like about it is that a lot of the game or a lot of the music in the game is one of two things. It's it, they're all like this like old school like upbeat stuff, but one half is upbeat happiness and you know it's kind of like almost like American propaganda, and then the second half is upbeat, but it's all about like impending doom and the <laughs> apocalypse and war is near because at that time there was a lot of conflict with uh with Russia. You know, oh right. Time is a flat circle, you know what I'm saying? Fuck. Um history has a funny way of repeating itself. Anyways. Don't say that. <laughs> uh y'all don't say that. Um <laughs> but no, for, I'm being dead serious like back then like it, you know, there was threats of like nuclear holocaust and there was thre- you know, the cold world, you know, was very intense back then. There was a lot of tension. So the music reflects that, you know, the music reflects like the time being. Mm-hmm. And yeah, bro, like some of these, you know, you're hearing it's like, "Oh, it sounds all happy." It's like get in the bomb shelter <laughs> yeah, like dude. you know it's like insane bro it's insane i i fucking love that shit um some of the top tracks would be uh uh bamir bista shane by the andrew sisters fucking love that shit um bobby darren's uh version of beyond the sea i don't know if he did it first or if, he did uh, it first yeah okay so he, his his version not sinatra's version his version. Word. Fucking amazing. Beyond the Sea. So good. Uh, God Bless the Child. Billy Holiday, as we you know mentioned before. Shout out, Billy. Mm-hmm. Um, and It's Bad for Me with uh, with uh, Rose Rosemary uh, Clooney and uh, Benny Goodman. Benny Goodman's obviously humongous, uh, big, uh, big band artist from you know the 40s and 50s. 
So, I mean, they're, they're finding all kinds of great music. One last thing. So those songs, you you know, you have to like go and look for them. The songs that are just in the game, like the old school classic songs, were made by like a, you know, a, a band that like does old school. Oh. But it works so well because they record their shit like on like old shit, I right. think, so, to make it sound old. Like everything about that game just oozes authenticity yeah you know and everything everything's so baked in and lived in and lived in you're 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 going into a game that's you already the world's already over the world's already ended you know you're you're just in the aftermath and seeing that for yourself and and listening for yourself is tremendous so my number two another op you know what all my picks are op i'm sorry damn, damn. yeah i'll be honest so number two Gotta go with Pokemon. Oh. Specifically, specifically, I mean, I'm going yellow for nostalgia, but I'm going for the sound. I'm going for silver. Lavender Town. Easy. Dude. Lavender Town. Dude. Oh, Marcos. Bro. And, <laughs> and I, it's in all the Pokemons too. When you, when you hit surf, when you hit <laughs> surf, bro, and you're riding your Lapras, <laughs> that sound it's it's almost like uh like underwater mario from mario 64 <laughs> oh yeah. it's dude. fucking beautiful bitch i'm riding on a tentacle <laughs> holy shit you're riding no lapras i'm riding a tentacle no nah, but when you would get on the 8 bit oh, it was always oh. the lapras it was that's, yeah you're that's right, why you're right. i say it was lapras <laughs> and then uh dude you got the the champions road at the end yeah oh yeah for yeah. elite 4 yes elite 4 yes <laughs> so good and now, like that, I'm thinking about it. Like this is probably why I like my beeps and boops. It's probably Ooh. from the eight bit. Yeah, and you shouted it out earlier. That's why I looked at you. Was Tetris? Yes. Because to this day, I still play Tetris almost every day. And Tetris ninety nine. Oh yeah. I, do that, I gotta say something. I do too. I play Tetris. I have a Game Boy. I have a Game Boy with a Tetris cartridge that I play every fucking day. Let's go. You Easy walk money. into my room right now. You go to my NES, and it's Tetris. I swear to God. Let's go. <laughs> no, so like that 8-bit sound though. And it, of course, it's always going to be just like super nostalgic. But that 8-bit sound, I could just never, I'm never going to be able to get, get that out of it. my head. Dude, yeah. and those countless hours of just playing Pokemon after school on your handheld. <laughs> come on. All the stress that that game fucking put you through. We were talking about it earlier, but that fucking milk tank. Like, <laughs> I just wanting to snap that SP just I have to say something else. Having a friend that you have to actually get the cord with and actually fucking plug in. Trade Pokemon and shit. You want a Dude. Gengar? Come trade me. You want that Gengar? Oh. Come here. And it's always the Gengar too, bro. I fucking oh, yeah. hate that. Now you have to train uh, legendaries to complete your Pokédex. Always Dude. had to, bro. Someone always had to. Sorry, I try not to talk as much, but... No, nah, but shout out like pokemon was kind of ahead of its time. Like you had to trade with your friends if you wanted exclusive Pokemon. But yeah, that classic 8-bit sound. I mean, it could be annoying to some. It's also just very catchy to others. And it's just it's a sound that is always going to stick with me. So i got to go with Pokemon Gold and Silver because they were the same. But specifically, Pokemon Silver, that was the one I had. All right, my third uh, pick is uh, Dark Souls. My second, second pick. My second pick. My second pick is Dark Souls 3. One of my Fuck all-time yeah. favorite games. Dog. Yeah. The fucking, what are those fools? All the priests? Where, where, like, oh, I the, forgot. I forgot. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, that's an easy, where they yeah, form? Yeah, that's an easy boss. No, but that theme, though. Yeah, theme that music. Yeah. Bro, the Nameless King. Yeah, I was about dude. to say the Nameless King. The fucking Frida. Yeah. Frida, yeah, Frida is one that I always go back to. The soundtrack to Frida is amazing. Dark. It's literally perfect music. Like, I like hardcore, rock, new metal, 90s hip hop, new gen hip hop. Fucking. Everything I don't give a fuck. Like I would rather listen to fucking <laughs> down to the Dark Souls. <laughs> just no, not even Dark Souls three. Just Frida. Just Frida. Oh, just Frida. Frida. Just Frida. Oh, okay, okay. Just Frida. The soundtrack Bro, to Frida. When it kicks in in her last phase and she has the black flame. Yeah, dude. So that soundtrack, I would listen to that soundtrack any day over literally anything. Gail, uh, the Gale. Slave Knight, fucking soundtrack is disgusting too. Uh, Pontiff Sullivan, the soundtrack oh, to that. Jesus. Yes. Abyss Watchers, the soundtrack Abyss to the Abyss Watcher. Watchers is fucking sick. I have that motherfucker tied on me. Hell yeah. Clean as fuck. Yeah, every, that whole soundtrack is 
amazing. Don't play the fucking game. You're gonna break your TV. Listen to the soundtrack. <laughs> fucking. You you'll, still might break. You'll your be TV. you'll be better off. You still <laughs> might break your TV because you get so hyped. All right, my number one. I just want to throw out some uh, some uh, artists to you. See if any of these uh, ring a bell. All right, as far as Tupac, the, you know. Uh, Bad brains. Okay. Black flag. Okay. Booker T and the MGs. Okay. Okay. Band of horses. Jesus Christ. Gangstar. Jesus Christ. Rick James, NWA. It's skate one. It's skate one. 100%. Hey, I drinks. Let's yeah. go. Chuck for that Chuck one. that shit because this Chuck game deserves one. it. Um, again, like I was saying earlier with my Silent Hill 2 uh, recommendation or my, my Silent Hill 2 um, spot, a lot of this is based in nostalgia because, you know, me and Keenan, we were into skating fat back in the day that was probably like the peak of my skateboarding phase um skating every day dude my life revolved around skateboarding to so finally have tony hawk was cool okay you know I'll, I'll give this props it's cool but nothing really captured that essence of skating like skate did right so then to have that feeling in a game to have that authentic feel but then to have the soundtrack with it was dope like growing up watching skate videos you know you have you watch companies like Foundation. Foundation had nothing but fucking Merciful Fate, Oof. black metal and shit. And then you had DGK, who was all hip-hop. And then Shake <laughs> Junk, who was all... Like, it was so cool that skateboarding, like, encompassed such different cultures and such different, like, walks of life into one. And the, the soundtrack for Skate essentially did the same thing. It, nice. It, like, it, it, it introduced me to Band of Forces, who ended up becoming one of my favorite indie bands of all time, you know? So, like I was saying earlier, like... You know, 90s hip hop. I listened to that a lot when I would be skating, like a lot of Gangstar, a lot of hieroglyphics and shit. So I appreciated the fact that they put that type of music in this in this uh, game. Um, that's when I was like first getting into like the thrash, Merciful Fate and stuff. So to hear like Slayer, Slayer on the soundtrack, it just it's just so like it, it essentially at that time, it felt like they took my life and put it into a video game. And it was Damn. just like the dopest feeling ever. Bro, did you did you wow. go into the settings and put it on like random? Yeah, dude. Yeah, you would go just randomize random. the soundtrack. So, like, you were saying you would get Gangstar and then you would get Slayer like right behind it. Yeah. And then it would jump to like James Brown. And you're like, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. It just takes you back to a really good time in your life. And I can play skate now and still get that same type of feeling oh, I dude, had in cow. seventh grade. So, the- man, it's hard to top. So, Skate 1. Skate 1 is my all-time pick. video game pick. soundtrack. I completely forgot about the skate franchise, too. For real. Damn. I don't know if I could beat that. Probably won't beat that. I'm sure yours is just as valid as mine. So True. Mine's way better. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. My number one pick. So, when I was thinking about this, I had to really think really, really hard. I had to think... What, what is my favorite, not only game, but what is something that I would genuinely listen to when I'm not playing the game? And I thought really long and hard and psyched. That was all a lie. I didn't think hard at all. <laughs> I knew exactly what I was going to pick because this shit is fucking amazing. It's motherfucking Bloodborne from Software 2015. Ooh. Bro, it's on the greatest hits on PlayStation. It has the little red line when you buy the game in stores. <laughs> That's how fucking good that shit is. You can get that shit on PS5 for free because it's part of, like, the legacy pack. That's how good it is. All right. No, all jokes aside, like, like let's be for real. So, in the game, there's a mechanic called insight. And insight essentially means that you have uh discovered or otherwise interacted with something that is beyond this realm Mm -hmm. that is beyond our control that is not of this earth and not of this plane of existence so anytime you get insight it's just a little number and you think nothing of it but the more insight you get the more mechanics start to change in the game and more importantly the music changes in the game there's a hub world called the hunter's dream where everything's calm and this is where you level up and you know heal and do all that bullshit and when you have no insight and you know like a certain amount of insight you and you don't have it's very calm and serene and oh you feel safe and oh it's the hunter's dream and the doll and oh i'm leveling up and i'm gonna kick some werewolf butt and blah 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 once you get a certain amount of insight it gets sinister it's still calm but it changes it warps it makes it like uncomfortable unsettling, yeah. unsettling. It, it, it's it's still serene but in a way that 
in the same way that a horror movie will play a country song in slow motion while some fool gets murked, you know, <laughs> like it's it's fucking it's it's very unsettling, and it's and it just goes to show like how creative FromSoft is that it actually changes. Everything's connected. The soundtrack's connected to the gameplay, and the gameplay's connected to the lore, and the lore is connected to the soundtrack. Like it's it's all it's all harmonious. It's all you know one beautiful grotesque thing and one last thing the music in the game there is no music the only time there's ever music except for one except except for two exceptions is in boss fights everything mm. else you hear the footsteps and you hear the crack of the wood and you hear the fucking i have it written down right here like it's it's fucking it, it's amazing bloodborne is is so detailed in everything that it does so when you do finally hear music, it, it's it, it like invigorates you. It, it, it's like a it's like you pop a bean and you're ready to fucking go. You know, <laughs> um, some of my top tracks would be uh, the Hunter, Hell the Nightmare, which Hell the Nightmare is the only place that is the only song in the soundtrack that plays during the game, and that's another mechanic. But that's a spoiler alert, so I, I I won't get into it. But Ooh, but hell hell the nightmare is fucking amazing. Has these um like uh Latin chants that just sound evil. That shit sounds like my mom should beat my ass for listening to that shit, bro. <laughs> it literally sounds sinister as fuck. Um, the hunter's dream, uh, lullaby for Murgo, uh, terror. Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower and the best song of all time, video game soundtracks, Ludwig the I Holy Blade. I fucking knew it was going to be Ludwig. Ludwig the it. Holy Blade boss fight theme song. The second part of the fight where he changes and gets the big ass sword and the and the music changes, it's some of the most epic shit ever, bro. I, I swear I fucking, nothing gets me more jazzed up than hearing that shit, bro. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry if I rambled. It's just this game is so intoxicating that it just I, I get lost in my words sometimes when I speak about greatness. Ooh, god damn, damn, dude! All Move right, on. my I... last op. Got to go with Ruben. Another skateboarding game, but it, oh. the entire Tony Hawk franchise, franchise, damn the, the whole entire, thing, the entire sick. Because we got older dudes who are going to say one and two. Uh-huh. But personally, I got to go three and four. Yeah. Okay. Because when I when I pretty much discovered these games was in, you know, 2001, 2002. So literally it was three and four for me. And at that time, at that time, I was just kind of listening to whatever was on the radio and whatever, like, my parents showed me. Of course. But, dude, this was... <laughs> This this was the game that showed me the Ramones, bro. <gasps> no way. This is what started it. What? This is this, this is, is the, the Inception Keenan origin story. This <laughs> was the so to bring it full story to go with my honorable movie mention, which was Rock and Roll High School, oh. all about the Ramones. This game was one of the biggest influences of like my, especially like my punk. Yeah, because like for what it was, it wasn't like hardcore punk or anything. It was just like whatever. It's like just poppy. traditional punk. Yeah. yeah. And this is like what set it off. So we do Tony Hawk Pro Skater Three. We got the Ramones. Bro, we got Motorhead. Okay. Oh Motorhead. yeah, Rollins Band. Yeah, dude. Red Hot Chili Peppers. We got KRS One. That's crazy. We got Red Man. Who? Okay. Honorary Wu Tang member. Okay. And it just it goes on. We got AFI when they were punk. Okay. <laughs> Bro. Damn, dude. That's just three. Can I mean, we I could just go not? On. We need a. We can't can't understate this this man played this video game and got into punk this man is like the king of punk again maybe i have no frame of reference and there's people who like punk way more than you whatever the fuck oh definitely. nah you're pretty fucking in a punk dog <laughs> you're literally wearing a uh your outfit screams punk got the high socks with the flat top. you're using the wrong example we went to a show with like three people and Kenan was up in the front singing in the mic <laughs> for real facts so now to so jump sick. up to four Okay. We got Agent Orange, some more punk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Classic ACDC. Love it. I right. now this is like kind of like how I like really discovered like my hip hop. So like we got ASAP Rock. Oh, ASAP mm. Rock, yeah. We got Rock. Okay. We got De La Soul. 
Hell yeah. We got Gangstar. Dude. Bro, like, Grandmaster. Public Enemy, Run DMC. Bro, shout out to the Queen and the Sex Pistols. Bro. <laughs> like, these soundtracks is, like, literally, like, what shaped, like, my punk career. Or, like, my, just, like, my punk, like, lifestyle. And it was, it's just cool because, like, as I got into skateboarding, like, one of my biggest, like, teams that I was, like, into at the time was, like, Zero. And mm. that's all they were. They were just, yeah, like. Yeah, dude. They were, like, the punk and, like, thrashy, like, dirty dudes. And, like, that's what, like, that's what I wanted to be growing up. I was, like, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to get sponsored by Zero. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I mean, it, but, like, Ruben was saying about skate, it's cool because, like, it reaches out to everybody. And it was cool because, like, in these games, you were able to go in and, like, turn off, like, the songs you didn't want to hear. If it wasn't for these two games specifically, like, they literally shaped my musical taste to this day. Yeah, you would be listening to elevator music. Oh, dude. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we literally shouted out freaking Minecraft earlier. but I'll Right, no, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but, but, no, seriously. So, like, it, it's just cool to, to see, like, that these were the games. Not only did they affect, like, my musical taste, but... Like, my lifestyle at the time. Because, like, if it wasn't for these games, I wouldn't have gotten into skateboarding like I did. And so, it's just cool to, like, look back on it. And I know a lot of dudes are going to say, like, one and two are always going to be, like, their top two. And Oh, yeah. And I agree. I mean, because this entire franchise is up there. But specifically, like, when I found the game, it was definitely, like, three and four. And, like, that's what I gravitated towards. And that's what I wanted it to do. Well, that's what I want to listen to. And I'm still rocking it. Yeah. So, I got to go with the whole franchise. But, again, three and four specifically. Shout out. Cap it off. Uh, well, can you guys guess? Uh, it's a wait. classic video game. It's a classic one. Oh, right it's here. a classic? It's a classic. It's a classic. Oh, Mario 64. No. I already said Mario 64. Or, or no, the other one. The one where you get the cape and Yoshi. No, 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 Mario. no, no Mario. Mario. No Mario? Luigi's Mansion. No. <gasps> Damn. That's a good one. That's a really Fuck. good one. But no. The I don't know. Mansion. It's a shoot 'em up. It's a shoot 'em up. It's a shoot 'em up? Yeah. Goldeneye? No. no. Uh, 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 Metal Slug. No. Contra? No. No. Damn, Contra. No. It's a running gun. Come on, I'm it's literally a, giving it to you right a, now. Duke Nukem. No. Doom. Let's go. Doom. That's what yes, it's the sir. original Doom 64, bro. Yes, sir, the original bro. Doom 64. Yes. Oh. The original Doom. Come on. Dude, when that fucking rip and tear comes on and you're just fucking going blasting fucking aliens, how can you not have that? Literally vividly pictured in your fucking brain for the rest of your fucking life, bro. You're going on a fucking tear on a fucking massacre, bro. And that's what really got me, like, into fucking, like, any type of rock, metal, anything like that. Because I'm just like, no fucking, way. yeah, is that, looking back at it, like, yeah, I was like, yo. Because it was heavier for sure. It was heavy as fuck on 64, bro. Like, disgusting. And it wasn't even my 64. It was some dude that would answer his door in his fucking underwear. He was like, yeah, you come in and play. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, we, you're no. a victim. No, he was, he was, a, he, was, he, was he was a cool. So, I, so short story. I would go to my grandma's house after like Lava Land at elementary school and go. And I made friends with this fucking neighborhood kid. He was on the bigger side. And he was a nerd. And he would take me in to go play fucking N64 with him. And he was really cool. Like I befriended him. But his parents were a little, a little sketchy. Uh, like they would always answer the door with fucking with their underwear and shit like that uh-huh. and he would too and then they would always be sure this but I would just Ooh. go in there and play fucking 64 and introduce me to fucking Doom the original Doom 64 even Doom Eternal still to this day to this fucking day they still make amazing heavy ass metal fucking run and gun Dump fucking soundtracks yeah. bro like that shit will have you like if you're zoned in like if you have a <laughs> girlfriend bro like put her to the side put on your fucking headset <laughs> turn on the lights <laughs> bro you're gonna be fucking feeling Damn. it bro running and gunning bro <laughs> Literally, finding bosses, fucking <coughs> reloading left and right, bro. Fucking just shooting them up, spraying them. Oh, it's fucking, it's it's a different time of gameplay. You can play that shit off anything, drunk as fucking shit like that. You're going to have a amazing ass time. To, but Doom 64, Doom Internal, any of them, you can listen to that soundtrack left and right. That shit goes dumb hard. Okay. That'll wrap up our top three for each for Ooh. our movie soundtracks as well as our video game soundtracks. Ah, uh, damn, son. Holy shit, we made it. Uh, but not yet because we have oh, to – yeah. uh, <laughs> we have our uh, Instagram followers' comments as well. Thank you guys for the interaction. We really appreciate all the input. We got hella replies on this, so we're, we're very excited to uh, read this off. All right, kicking it off is – 
Tone. Tone. Hey, Let's shout out get to it. the boy. He had a shitload of picks. Okay, so I'm just going to read off everything he recommended. So he has a mix of movies and video games. Cool. So he starts off with 8 Mile, okay. which we shout out earlier. Good Amazing. Shit, shit. You know, Tron Legacy. Another Ooh. one that we shouted out. That's a classic, though. Like, even though it came out, like, in the fucking past decade, like, god damn, Modern Daft Punk concept. fucking it's, killed yeah. it. Daft Punk fucking... It's not the best Tron movie, but the soundtrack literally carried it, and I fucking love this fuck out of the soundtrack. Yeah, dude. It, it, yeah, you called it. it. It has to be solidified as a classic. Uh, Coco. That's a good one. I haven't seen it one. Again, Disney's it. OP. Disney's, Disney's OP. is too damn good. Ocarina Hon- of Time. That was my honorable mention. I know yeah, that that's one yeah. that you shout out too. Yeah, Ocarina of Time was. On, you on had a couple of Zelda ones. Yeah, so. Majora's Mask too. Yeah, dude, Ocarina of Time is dope. Game of Thrones. We we were Game talking about the intro. Ooh, to Game of Thrones. Nightmare Before Christmas. Let's go. I, Tony yeah. said that too. Yeah, 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 he got that too. Oh so, fuck yeah! Shout yep. out Tony. You guys are on the same page with that. Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. Oh, that's great actually. Oh, oh there's I, a. Did that solid song too. win like a Grammy or an Oscar? Or I, I don't. I don't know if it was the Post Malone song or not with the Sway Lee, but yeah, I yeah. still listen to that song to this day. Sunflower. Sunflower, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That dude. Sunflower song yep. fucking hit. There's another one with a uh, XX Tentacion. Uh, I think it, I think it is with them, but that shit goes that so movie? hard. Yeah, I think it, I'm pretty sure with the X. I'm not sure. It. That's cool though. If, if Fuck, it let me that, look that'd it up. be wild. Yeah, I need to look it up. All right, so let's go, Spider Man. Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, it just fucking blows out the speakers of the of the <laughs> fucking theater. Um, and then his last recommendation: Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. <gasps> Holy shit, oh, dude! That's a throwback. That is a throwback. Oh my god, dude! For all those who don't know, that's the fucking horse movie. Yeah, it was <laughs> helps the native person. So going go, going back to Spider Man into the Spider Verse, it was scared of the dark with X. Oh, okay, it's okay. really fucking good, dude. And yeah, I so. love the fuck out of that song. Uh, Feel yeah, spirit. Greasy. Holy shit, what a throwback, man! Wonderful. So thank and, you for your suggestions. Next one, who has a uh, couple answers from himself, is Stevo. Shout out to him. Who? He runs Stevo. Steve-O? Yeah, my, my homie Steve-O. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. He, um, he started a like, um, like a sneaker slash like thrift kind of shop in uh, Conwood Mall. Oh, shit. Yeah, Good for him. Uh, called, Splash um, Phoenix? No. It, it, is like a, it is like a Phoenix Splash, though. Uh, oh. Consumption. It's like the opposite Ooh. of what I said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for all your vintage needs, kicks needs, hit them up. They're oh, dope. Less, They're on the better. bottom floor next to uh, Build-A-Bear. They Check got pants? Oh, of course they do. I'm gonna buy some pants. They, they got everything you want. Oh hell yeah! You, you want a supreme brick? They got it too. <laughs> hell yeah! I think they do. I, I know they have shit like that, but all of his are. Uh, well, he has three video games and one movie. That's so right. So I, I appreciate the video game love from him. Yeah, fuck yeah. NBA 2K11. Whew, okay. Just fucking fire. You have tracks from Ron Artest, made okay. a world piece now. Okay. But you know you had shit from him. Two Door Cinema Club. That that was a solid soundtrack. That was in wait. That was in 2K. 2K11. Two Door Cinema Club? Yes. What? Really? Yes. In 2K11? Man, <laughs> man, you ain't playing no basketball. What I ain't playing no about? fucking 2K. That's that's what I'm asking. Exactly. Fuck, I ain't playing no goddamn 2K. Yeah. You ever play 2K? Fuck. I play 2K. for Skyrim? Yeah, for real. Oh, what the yeah. Fuck? fuck that. What the fuck are you talking about? Dude. Bro. Oh, have have you ever played, fuck? Have have you played FIFA? Ooh. You played Those FIFA? were some good soundtracks, too. FIFA has some good soundtracks. Which leads into his next one. FIFA Street 2 on the PS2. My oh. dude! That's a throwback. That. I was playing it on the GameCube, but that's my dude. Oh, word. Hell yeah. I never played it. That, that one is oh, crazy. We can go set it up. I played we'll it, it up right yeah, now. I played, I played NFL Street. I got that too. I'll run your shit too. <laughs> you would not run my shit. I'll fucking do a fucking interception off the fucking wall, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Read this shit, bro. Hurry up. Oh, I'm shit. That was a good one. FIFA Street yeah, For real. I'm fucking, going into cabin fever mode at this point. Yeah, for real. Yeah, great pick. FIFA, man, I haven't thought about the game in forever. Uh, Finite Round 4. Shout out. Oh, oh shout out the dude. Lights. The Finite games are immaculate. Yeah, dude. Immaculate. You, I don't know why I did not mention them in my honorable mentions, but Finite 4 and Finite Champion. Yeah, dude. Speaking of that, you know what else was a good one? It was Def Jams. Oh, Def Jam Def Jam Jam was a good one. Oh, dude, fuck. The Def Jams were amazing. Just, Dude, so much honorable just mentions. Just jogging man. our memories with all these, yeah. with all this shit, man. The, God uh, damn, Five Night Round Four is fucking yeah. insane. You have Most Def, you got J Electronica LP. Come on. Yeah, and then you have the the song with the uh, when you fight Isaac Frost, and Five Night Champion. Oh yeah, dude. Done. It's pretty good. 
Okay. From what I remember, at least. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And then his uh, final recommendation was, or his final answer was Wolf of Wall Street. I don't, that's one I don't remember. Yeah, I, don't I don't remember. remember I don't remember the movie. soundtrack to that yeah. one. I don't need to rewatch the movie to see if the soundtrack hits or not. Shout out to you. Yeah, yeah those were great picks. Yeah, yeah, yeah he had you. some really good ones. That's there's Bro, some that deep FIFA cuts Street in one? there. Hell yeah, FIFA Street. Let's Holy go set shit! Set the sticks up right now. Right. All right. We got two answers from K Roy. Thank you so much. Oh word. For, yeah. Hell yeah. Shout out K Roy. Shout out K Roy. She got uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Ooh, which okay. is one and two are. Fire. Yeah, dude. One hundred percent. You have to listen to that shit on the playlist because they have some fucking bangers on there. Oh, Classic dude. 70s. Absolutely. Yeah. And then 70s, Shrek. 80s, 90s. Oh shit, Shrek. And then Shrek. What else? Shrek. Ooh. Shrek that is Smash one. Mouth. Dude, <laughs> Smash Mouth. I'm a believer. Oh my god. Dude. How does it go? What's that? This one? No, I'm a believer. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, even if that, I tried, I, I mean that song was definitely popping before Shrek, but dude, nah, Shrek propelled Shrek, it Shrek to a it whole another level. <laughs> it's literally memed. However, many years later, For real, Shrek is so power. influential. Yeah, bro, and uh, what is it? They have a um, it's not the Buzzcocks version, but uh, there's a they have a song in there. It's a punk song. It's original. It's originally done by the Buzzcocks, but uh-huh. it, it's a cover by someone else. It's when they're leaving the tower. Is it's it when he Jack? first. It's, it's when he first oh, like rescues her. It's a yeah. Uh, shouldn't have fallen in love with someone, or I don't. I don't remember the name of the. No, song. I I know exactly what. You're but it, about yeah, that. it's it's a. Uh, I remember seeing that movie and I was like, yo, that's the Buzzcock. But, like, <laughs> but that's not actually the Buzzcocks. That's just the Buzzcock song <laughs> being all fucking gatekeeper. All gatekeeper. Oh, dude, that's funny. While you're playing Tony Hawk, <laughs> listening to all your punk. Songs. Yeah, bro. yeah, exactly. <laughs> This shit ain't on this soundtrack. Fuck this movie. Right, yo. <laughs> shout out K Roy. Hell K-Roy. yeah. Great, great, great suggestions. All right. So I'm going to shout out these two in one because they essentially are the same one. Uh, shout out to Tomcat. Ooh. What OG, a boy. OG Alamo's head. Fuck yeah. Check out his gay videos. And shout for out. all your palace needs. And your palace needs. Oh, this dude's got the heat on deck. Uh, so Tomcat and Moose Knuckle. So. Moose Knuckle? There's someone named yeah. Moose Knuckle? Yeah. Bro, you oh. say that every single time we every shout out this time. person. Oh, my yeah. bad. Shout out Moose Knuckle. That's <laughs> she, so fire. She she shouted out Kid Cudi for our first topic one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at Moose. It's not even the person. I, I'm sure that person's a fucking sweetheart, but the fucking name, bro. That's dude, comedy. The name, dude. It's that's the comedy. Name is so- <laughs> I love that shit. What do we so, got? Uh, so, Tomcat uh, specified Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1. Hell, yeah. And then Moose Knuckle, she said just all Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Hell, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, iconic. We've already went over iconic. it, but thank you. Tony Hawk Pro Skater One is amazing. M- personally, I like two the best, but I, I I don't think you have a wrong answer with any of them. No, now. exactly. Yeah, I mean Underground Wasteland was, oh, dude, was top tier, like because that's when you got like Motley Crue and shit. But like, there's a bunch of stuff. Yeah, definitely. And I think you got like the Attic, some more punk. Yep. But exactly. Yeah. So, shout out to the boy. I'm that basic. I'm with, that what? I'm that basic. That's I'm hard. that basic. Yeah, he's yeah, a homie. Right. He likes all my fucking shit posts. <laughs> oh, yeah, shout out to Yeah, he's a homie, man. He's a meme god for sure. He uh, he says Halo. So. I gave that as an honorable mention. Oh. Yeah. How does it go? Good. How does it go? I'm not doing that. It's in the moment. <laughs> oh, I would have done it. It's in the moment. It's I, in the moment. I, I, Halo, in the two. moment. Halo, Halo two. Halo two. Halo, what the oh. fuck? How the fuck do you pick That's Halo two? It it's Halo one and Halo three, and then maybe Halo Reach. Well, the best game is Halo 2, but... It's okay. not. No, the best game is 3, but... It's 2, but... Okay. It's not. Yes. You're uncultured and you're young. It's 3, three is... It's what actually ODST. That's what they want you to think. <laughs> two. That's what they three. want you to think. It's 3, then 2. It's 3. It's actually 1, Combat Evolved, okay? Fucking... Oh we did it. I mean, we did say one. <laughs> it's so. actually Turok, so <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Turok? Oh, my God, dude. It's actually ODST. <laughs> ODST. Dude. Actually, it's the top-down tower defense. Oh, <laughs> okay. uh, what the oh, fuck the are they called? The, Rebel defense or the some RPG. Bullshit? Fucking yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, okay. Those games actually did slap. Shut though. the fuck. They up. did. I swear, people actually like those games. Yeah, that's some manic. That's some uh, command and conquer shit. I swear. What else we got? You want right, like Starcraft, so bitch, or what? Starcraft, <laughs> dude. Next one, it's Corduroy Boy. He's got three. Shout out to that's him. That's a hard name. Thank you. Shout out to Corduroy. Oh, yeah, he's dope. He, yeah, Corduroy. He comes. He comes through with the clean content. So he's got Tron Legacy. So. Second one who got for Easy. Tron. I gave that an honorable mention. Yeah. Easy. He has The Crow. Oh, Ooh. The Crow's a good one. The Crow is a really good one. Shit, yeah, go. dude. Oh, you got fire. fucking Rage, Stone Temple Pilots, oh. Nine Inch Nails. Oh, man. That's, that, a, that's a really Bro, good one. Bro, bringing soundtrack. it full circle with the Trent Reznor. <laughs> oh. Damn. Dude, our, yeah. our Trent fucking... Reznor runs this shit. 
bro. Yeah. Trent Reznor is so damn good. He gets every day. Tax suit for how he runs this show. Our fucking sure. followers have some bomb ass fucking taste in fucking music. Holy shit! Yeah, 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 it's you guys they listen a, to the underground trio. You guys have some good ears. <laughs> <laughs> It's because of us, that's why. <laughs> and Where then, their muse. Yeah, dude. Uh, and then uh, his uh, his uh, third pick was Waves. Have Waves? you seen that? Have you guys seen the movie? No. Waves, no. dude. It's a one. It, it's a really good movie. It's a really good movie. But the soundtrack is fire. It's got um, put a song. Play a song right now. Ken- Kendrick Lamar, Backstreet Freestyle. It's got Frank Ocean. So does Black Panther. It's Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No, they're not on there. Okay, <laughs> so snow in the okay well, then it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has Kid Cudi on there. That's good. You know? It, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll check it out. We'll check it out. It's, I mean, it, it's a wonderful soundtrack, but the movie itself is really freaking good. Is really it a cult good. movie? Uh, I guess you could consider it a cult movie. It, it, it came out in 2019, so it's fairly new. Um, But I guess the style of it could be considered cult-ish. In, yeah, it, it's an indie. I, I guess it could be considered like a cult classic, but yeah. Great picks. Great picks. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Katie Cat 82. Shout out to you. Thank oh, you. Oh, shout out Katie Cat 82. Hell yeah. We worked on some movies together. Shout out to you. Thank you for your support. Okay, uh, Romeo but, and Juliet. Ooh. Ooh the depends. young Leo? Yeah, the old Leo or the old one where they showed the titty? <laughs> she didn't specify, but I'm assuming I'm assuming it's the Leo. <laughs> yeah, it, it's probably it's the, the one, Leo one. The, that, one's, bro, that one's iconic. You got prints on that. You do. And Radiohead. Woo. Come on. That shit is OP too. And you got Leo looking all fine as hell. Oh, oh dude, fire! That's, that's hey, watch that's, out, that watch D. out. <laughs> that's Dad D. I said Ryan Gosling was Dad. Watch out, watch out. Oh, but, but Leo, Leo. Is Dad D. <laughs> Thank you for the pick. Wonderful pick. That was a good pick. Um, I'd be profan thought. <laughs> that's a fire <laughs> name. Yeah, okay. that shit, that shit is nice. Knuckle, I love it. Yeah, okay. she says the Beach Bum has an okay movie, but I really like the soundtrack. Okay, and the beach the bum, beach cool. bum, yeah, I've never I've never seen the beach bum. It's Harmony Korine, and I love Harmony Korine, so I really should get on it. Um, this was not his follow up, but this is a movie he made after um, um, uh, Spring Breakers. So oh, it, it's it's him? in the yeah, it's the same guy, yeah, and it's the guy who made Gummo from my third. Oh, oh hey. word. yeah. So Spring Breakers first, has first a great soundtrack again. as well. Yeah, Spring Breakers is dope, but uh, Beach Bum has. A, dope soundtrack. It's it's very like 60s, 70s, like folk kind of artist. So it's like. Uh, Jeff Rafferty, uh, Gordon nice. Lightfoot, uh, John Debney. I I don't know if I've ever said that right, but really good. Jimmy Buffett. Nice. Like it, it's dope. Nice. Yeah, that's a that's a really solid pick, and that's one that actually I think is kind of, you know, flies under the radar, which it shouldn't. All right, Audrey the Asshole 2.0. Thank go. you for your answer. She says Donnie Shout Darko. Out. Oh, Donnie. Darko. I I Classic. mentioned that. Donnie. Yeah, Classic. Donnie Darko, Tears for Fears. I mean, oh, so Tears for Fears, oh Tears for gosh. Fears, Echo and the Bunny Man, Joy Division. Ugh, bro. Echo Man, bro. Yeah. Echo, about that. dude. Come that on. That was my first picture disc that I bought on vinyl. Yeah, Donnie Darko. Was Donnie Darko soundtrack. Damn. At- you still have it? Yeah. Shout out Hastings. Rip Hastings. Rip Hastings. Oh, Rip. Yeah. Don't bring this up right now. Moving out, uh, Wyatt, the boy Wyatt, oh, the homie. Shout out Wyatt. Shout out Wyatt. Tell I serenade. Cheers. Listen to them. We're, we're we have to shout them out on every podcast. Cheers. He uh, he says Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Yep. Never seen that one. Fuck. That's a good hmm? one. That's a good one. That that's one that will definitely Sparry. put you in a spiral of depression. That one is. So, or, well, or, for completely or, uh, different Rec reasons. Rec Realm. Yes, but again, for completely yeah, yeah, different yeah. reasons. If yeah, you, it's about a chick, right? It's about a chick yeah, it, it, it's, it's essentially, like, yeah. Yeah, anyways, we don't need to go over the synopsis. Yeah, that's right. Cool. Jim, yeah, Jim Carrey killed that shit. Soundtrack, oh my God. That's a great pick. Thank you, Wyatt, for that. Next one is coming from, I'm so sorry, Chris, if I don't pronounce yeah. this right. Our bad. Nachi. Nachi. I'm assuming the X is... <laughs> I'm assuming the X is silent. X. Znachi. Znachi. Yeah, maybe it's a Znachi. <laughs> Thank you for your response. He says Donkey Kong Country 2. Ooh. Ooh. Another good pick. Yeah, great I, pick. I'm i not going to yeah. frown. I don't know nothing about that. So. Is that 64? What are you talking about? Yeah, 64. That was 64, Yeah, that right? one was 64. That's an old one. That it's a good old, one, though. old one. I'll take your word for it. I, you know, you guys got it's a great very, taste. It's he got very great energetic. Taste. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. That's good to know. Definitely, I have to check it out for sure. To wrap it up, our very last answer: Forty Ounce Till Freedom. Thank oh, you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for your answer. We really appreciate your support. Uh, she says, "Boyhood." Oh are shit! Guys, the one where like homie's like a little kid and he like films him the whole time. It made in 2014. Yeah, 
Whoa. Yeah. So I've never seen it, but I've never seen it either. But I mean, you got you got Coldplay on it. Nice. You got a. Uh, it's all indie. You, it's all indie, but you got fucking Soldier Boy. You got crank that on the, what? On the town Let's soundtrack. Go. Yeah, dude. Bro, you got the flaming lips. Flaming lips, Lady Gaga. It, it's just a really solid overall soundtrack. Nice. Radioactive, fucking Kings of Leon, man. No. Oh, God okay. damn, I love Shout Kings out. of Leon. All right, and Boyhood, 40 Ounce of Freedom, that wraps up our topic discussion. Oh, thank of God. The, uh, we made it. We made it through the trenches. I don't know if we did, man. I'm on autopilot at this point, but. <laughs> <laughs> Doing that wraps job. up our topic of our topic discussion of our favorite video game soundtracks as well as our movie soundtracks. Thank you guys for t- for participating again. Like we said earlier, all the uh, participation, all the answers we get is through Instagram. So if you want to participate, if you want to follow along, not only with topics but as far as uh, giving us feedback and keeping up with updates as far as the podcast goes, follow us on Instagram at the Underground Treehouse Pod. We appreciate every single you know post and answer we get from you guys really fun doing these topics so we hope to we hope to uh, keep it going until next time we'll see you guys next episode later cheers